making this grand final. Very That's pretty good. 53-47 in a grand final is very good. Very quickly, Gus. It certainly is. I don't think I've ever seen a pro match on Oregon. This will be fun. To the Rockets in a match up because they've been at it domestically, but not quite internationally. And also, who does want Brazil against Brazil? How did you see that? That is the final that we deserve. Let's jump in, Dan. Map number one. Round number one. Defensively, we're going to basement the pick of W7M. Nothing standing out as being too unusual in terms of their composition, but looking across to the attack. Imagine a spawn peak first. Picks. First uh, round of a BO5 finals. <laughs> oh, I would love that. Oh, that would have been sick. I gotta move my camera. Yeah, yeah. Right now, it's about feeling each other out in the server. Who's gonna get that opening pick? Who's gonna get the crowd? That's target? fine, that'll do. Who against them? Oh, roar with them when they find it. And it's a slow one. We know phase, they're not the quickest into the building, but when they do, usually they have five players alive. They play close together because they really want that open engagement. And in the grand finals, when the pressure is this high, it only makes sense that W's and M, despite being a very aggressive team, usually are all on site in basement. And these teams, Nick, so different. Difficult to split heading into today. They both have a 50% attacker win rate, 63% on the defense. I mean, they are equal in almost every part of the game at the moment. Charge the floor. Five men stacked down below for W7M to begin. It's smart, it's safe. You don't really want to be ma making mistakes this early on. So, but the downside to that is you give FaZe a lot of that time up above for three. They open the hatches, meeting's gone. 90 seconds left in the round, and the Roteros make their way through Freezer, clearing some of these keeper barriers to create that space for FaZe on that eventual push. They must, though, get multiple angles of attack. The big thing to look out here is Tobias and M. They're really good at knowing when to lash out on defense. They will play it safe, they'll make it seem like, hey, we're not gonna do anything, but out of nowhere, they might just explode into the attackers. It's been a slow build up here for FaZe, but it's the expectation. Will they be able to pounce onto site? KDS with the final Rotero. He sends that through Freezer. The util clear here from FaZe has been pretty spot on. The groundwork is now laid. Can FaZe build upon it? 50 seconds remaining in this opening round. That's annoying right the there. What can you do? Who can find Flash and push, kill? I guess. Will it be FaZe to make their way into site a little bit easier? Cyber through Freezer. Cannot connect with the initial shots that he outlays, but he pushes forward slowly. The e. Oh, he's very oh, chill, chill. Oh, he's about to get burned. No, a double push from laundry, but it is handy on to hurt. The opening shot for phase, and they double down. And Andy gets aggressive. Damn. The, the problem with watching this game is everything happens like it's so coordinated that the strike hits at the same time from like seven angles that it's so hard to spectate. Because like think about other games, right? Uh, um, hitting a site in other games is from like two spots. This game, it's from like six. It's hard. It's hard to watch in that regard to keep up with it. I almost wonder if keeping the bird's eye view would be better there to see them all kind of like work in. I gotta be honest, when we saw the map B2, when I saw them, you know, face pick Ark and off, they're gonna be thinking, that's the 50 50 map that no team wants to go to in the finals because you might just lose because you don't know what's gonna happen really. It's really up to those micro decisions in the server. But if you pick this map, you start an attack, the less favorite side, but you pull this off, that sends a message. Oh. Basically, it was a three. It was two over here, two by that hatch, and then one by the other. And the push through freeze is still clean. And then the one by the other was just being annoying. He dropped last. And, we said and then they all just kind of crunched together. The crowd, it's cool. In favor of W7M, but the noise emitted from the pocket of FaZe Clan members or fans that are here at the event is astounding. Unfortunately, such is the case sometimes in esports, things don't quite go to the script. The tech pause here after just one round, and it does just kind of leave us a little bit yearning for that second to come. Hopefully not too long. There is a little bit to talk about, though, Nick. Of course, slow was the pace set by FaZe early on, but a lot of that was because W7M gave them that space. They didn't contest up above. They Meanwhile, me and Diamond team hits the left side. Those hatches. Well, you're right. And that's the thing that's not very common for W7M. When we think about this team, when we see them play 
Morgan, they like to match aggression with aggression. But the issue that they face here is that Face Clan, they're not an aggressive team, so they can't match it. If you run around the map, go for those spawn peaks, Face will be watching those angles and shut them down. So you said it yourself, they play it safe, but they also get slightly punished because they didn't have anywhere on the map to play with. The bomb side, of course, overrun by the attack. The other thing as well was they had that split. Tech Born pause off the rip. Two, yes, sir. And pressure as well from backstairs. So they were able to at least work the angles onto site, and that made it difficult for W7M. They weren't able to have the numbers to stop that push from Frieza, from Laundry. Eventually, you just get overwhelmed, and it ends up being a flawless start. I can say that we're very likely to get back into this second round very, very shortly here. A dramatic start, a flawless start for FaZe. Of course, it is the opening map. And a best of five grand final, so you don't take too much from just one round. No, you can't. And I mean, this is the long game. You can even lose the map. I mean, you can lose too. The comeback is always possible. You would know. I would know. <laughs> but one time, I mean, we spoke about this before, right? What do we want as casters from this? Five maps. It's yeah. very simple. And then a great game of Rainbow Six Siege. Five, map, like five maps would be a great game, <laughs> regardless of the, the scores. Server. Even if there are blowouts at all of them, I think. Way to open up this match. We had the to top floor then for round number two. Can W7M formulate a response? They are a team that have already proven time and time and time and time again when they're under pressure, they can step up. They've made the lower bracket run. They clutched up against Virtus Pro. This is not going to be enough to shape them. It's going to take one hell of an effort here from FaZe Clan to really apply some serious pressure in this match. You're right. And, I mean, they even sent Hongi to us all, right? The current reigning hammer lifters. One thing for FaZe, though, they don't have any ego about them. They'll have a starting plan going to every single round, but they're not afraid to change on a dime if things do not work out, nor to brute force if they feel like they have to. So you expect here calculated, very slow beginnings, but if they have to change, they will. If they have to go fast, they will. The biggest thing I'm looking for for W7M will be that pace. We saw it in that opening round, said it a couple of times already. Slow down in the pacement. Well, guess what? We got upstairs now. Kid Storms, and already you can see Herd over towards that armory <laughs> position. And so he's already wanting to contest. Now you've got JV92 as well towards Big Tower. So immediately we see the response. More aggressive positions, happy to get into the face and take those early contact fights with face. JV92 loves to play these sort of power positions. FaZe have the tools to deal with him though, the Capital Line combo, if they want to play into it. FaZe are the best example of a team that will avoid oh. the strongest part of a defensive hold. They will pivot, they will change up their push, so they may elect not to contest JV92. But you can see Handy, perhaps keen to get in Big Tower and get to work on the map. We see both teams study each other here. They've seen them play Ark and they know the patterns that they have because they tend to play the same style most rounds, JV and Big Tower, but it's Hurts and KC usually in the front looking for things as the Cyber downstairs to the buck. No vertical destruction just yet. The advance of Armory stairs looking for an opening. They haven't got any. Obviously, they haven't even cleared. JP, Cyber takes the initial shot. He comes off second worst. He's still got a bit of pressure though for base, and away he goes through bedroom into trophy. But can cast over towards Philippe Pox, trying to deny that entry coming in from the balcony. On the There's so many angles to watch on the camera, the observer. <laughs> Holy shit. Makes entry into pit, gets the kill, trade does come through from that attic position, which is still in favor of W7M because of that big tower hold, because of what the Oryx can do through the hatch. Vinicky, oh, a double kill from Vinicky! JP, can he win the battle? No, Handy makes it a three versus one! He had to win that, JV. If he got that kill, it's a 2v2. Oh, yeah, that's right. Down onto Vita King and suddenly makes this a little bit more comebackable. No, King, KDS is watching. FaZe just look on on the outset of this grand final. They've not really put anything wrong. They be cooking. Huge double kill there from Vita King. As the first trade came through, he aggressed towards the breach. Philippox could not cover that position without exposing himself to that bedroom balcony. And that attack, again, ruthless, making W7M pay for the small mistakes that they're making at the moment. We Round two face. shirts are already <laughs> off. <laughs> Out of nowhere, say, you know what? It's time to go. There was like, what, a minute and 14 seconds left. Cyber will just flashbang, go through pit, get the opening kill, and he gets traded immediately. It's a one for one, and that's not necessarily a good thing, but the entire team of FaZe was behind them, supporting, cutting our position. Wow. King, who is on the scoreboard, not the guy we expect to see much from. He goes in, follows on Capital. You got the fire, you got the smoke, but what they needed there was not utility. They needed manpower. You need guns. <laughs> <laughs> as simple as that. Mechanic
technically sound, mm -hmm. the repositioning on point, really well played. Needs to be said as well, for those unaware, Oregon essentially tied for worst map when it comes to attacking. So the fact that for phase, they've already got two attacking rounds early Five on, especially with the fact that in that opening round, it was on basement, which statistically is the best when it comes to defending on Oregon. So, perfect start for phase. Now we beg the question, the response from W7M, where's that gonna come from? So it's the shock drones now in play. Cyber on the Twitch. Into the solace though of herds. Solace can really punish the attack if they're leading into pre place drones. This crosshair placement being at the head not important siege. I mean it is. Protection on site because of course those shock drones can counter a ton of that utility. Yeah. But then we got the Tokapi, we got the Jackal, we got really strong and guns from the attack inside. And a bigger, a quicker pace run here right now from FaZe, kind of keeping those same guessing as to what's the style going to be. Slow and methodical, explosive out of nowhere. Is it going to be relying on utility, for example, or drone intel? Right now, FaZe, they're just lingering on the server. Very split across, but a lot of map control being asserted. I mean, they're trusting their system. Forward. They're bringing their game plan into this grand final. W7M adjust, I'm sure they will as well, but at the moment, it's a strong start. Bit of getting taken low. A oh. split, and the hard breach will fall. Fight's not over, in towards classroom. JV couldn't get the response that he was searching for on to Souls. Still over towards split. It's Herds being aggressive on that oh. Solus. That's the response, the question that oh. was made. Oh, Herds is cooking. Herds is awake. GG. Down, but not out just yet. Oh, and then nice. he gets caught. Backside of meeting coming from Big Tower. Handy made entry. But there's still going to be a bit of pressure there from Felipox. I've not seen this kind of excellent play from both teams right now. It's pixel perfect from both sides. Fighting back and forth. In. Members in. He dropped. Now hopping down the hatch. Chasey dropped down. Oh my god. He goes for a different option. Rotates away. KDS is low. Can play the Inox scanner on the Jackal. Create sightlines in towards. I love this. I love this. Even though they lost that pick there, I love that. Getting a little aggro on him. Retake the lead here in this round. They're so lead. low. From to shut down that flank potential, and now bolsters their man advantage. Cyber now shock drains, as we mentioned, critical can chip oh. away at that utility. The yeah. boyer canisters and those smoke canisters are both key in stalling out this push. Now they're gone. They're gonna be wasted. They'll be expired by the time Phase are ready to push. Also here, KDS and the Cyber sold on HP. Any fire, Toxic Babes will stall them out or take them down outright. They're so low, dude. This is going to be so hard to win, even though they have one one man advantage. A, similar push to what we saw in the opening round. It's a, a couple pre-fires and it's GG. And a lot of this game is pre-firing. In that hallway position that might red ping down. Information comes through from the jackal KDS. Still one more scanner. Smokes go out. Cyber makes the slow push as well. Coupled with salt. That could have been it right there. The spam through the wall. the final 15 seconds. Sprays go out. One low guy's dead, second low guy's dead. Oh, 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 oh! The toxic babes, the defense looked perfect, but somehow FaZe found the gap. I, I commented on the toxic babes and I thought I mean, they, they were just kind of the push pushing at them, no? They were all still standing, arguably placed to perfection, yet despite that and other pieces of utility standing in the way of FaZe. Listen, I'm, no pro I'm, not, pro I'm not a professional at this game, position, but I got to imagine you equalized it real quick. And I tell you what. And then you now just hold, there's like 30 seconds left, maybe less. I mean, I love that start, at least for W7M. But still, I fuck with the swings. But my goodness, this it was 3v2, yeah, 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 it was 3v2 right here, and they all peaked. That sucks. The team that in those very major they all swung on a 3v2. All good. They're feeling it, though. They're feeling it. Before the final hurdle, but right now they are making leaps and bounds to start the six invitational. Three nothing on attack? Nick, this is unheard of. Uh, I did not see this coming. I gotta say, right now, this is all about face. They're in control, they're setting the pace, they're making all the right decisions. But I do feel like WCM, they gotta change something up. They had the same kind of semi 
what should I say? They've been only committing half the time. We saw two roamer slash found, oh, but normally they have four. So they're playing, trying to play in both oceans. We're gonna play safe, we're gonna play risky. Hurts Casey, go crazy. The rest of us play on site. No, no, play as a team. Five players. We saw a documentary on Breakable. That's always sitting there and say, guys, when the communication isn't I'm there, we don't win as a team. We have to play as a team. We've not seen that yet. And I think a good example of that in the previous round was Felipox, rear stage. He elected not to push through support that roam inside of meeting, perhaps just being a little bit conservative in a match where being aggressive, being in the face of your opponent can give you a significant advantage if played correctly. So we enter now into round number four. It's a top floor defense for W7M. Can they get their first here in the grand final? That's the question that I'm asking as well. And now we see FaZe change it up again. Slow, fast, fast, slow. And right now it's about an Intel game for those. They want to know more. Is Oregon in the map. defender sided? Or is every map defender sided? Or like, what's going on here? Standing with that, they probably want to play the vert positions that they can use. Obviously, you can also throw them out of windows, like big window, for example. JB plays aggressive into classroom. The nice that kind of front door entry position, but he gets. Oh my God, that's just so lucky, bro. Yeah, it is. Every single time, opening kills, favoring the attack right now. That's how you win these rounds on Oracle, and you build that early lead. As you mentioned, though, several Nitro cells still remain here for W7M. Is that the clutch factor that can bring the round back? They want to peek. They want to see if they can catch someone from phase off guard. W7M need to start be the ones that put their feet in front of each other and start moving, but it's handy. And it's phase again, wanting to make that entry into the site before yeah. Epox gets the denial. There comes Nade onto Vinikin. But Souls in response every single time. Faze have got the answers. Still one night oh. to sell for KZ. Oh, wow. It, but misses KDS altogether. Yeah, he's still alive. And Felipe's now top white makes his entry known. Flash, no. He's oh, he's so KDS low. KZ, though, can't clock. Jesus. A 4 0, dude. Oh, my God. Multiple rounds now in a row. Where are we going? Oh, Those of them get around here. They look pretty wow. mighty fine. But then they don't. Please, every time that C4 was round, so good, they dude. Get an even trade or the early advantage. That's the one part of it. But then late round, they always find a way into the bomb site. They always trade out in favor, and they have forced the back-to-back -back major champion into a tactical timer after just playing four rounds. Now, we got to speak to a lot of the fans outside of the arena today. I think the split inside the building is probably 70-30 in favor of W7M. Yes, yes. So if you think the crowd is loud now, well, they're probably a bit stunned because W7M certainly are the hometown heroes and they are forced into an early tactical so why, for nothing to phase. Why does W7M have, 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 have more bracket, love than phase? But W7M what's... Is it because it's their, like, final run as an org? Or, like, what's going on here? has eluded them since SI23 and so far not off to the best start here in their final last dance. Oh, FaZe also just won back to back. I'm picking up on the point from Nick about oh, wait. the emphasis on the early Oh no. Oh, W7M won back to back. Kills like that. It only is narrowly in favor of FaZe heading into this match. 57% to 55. We're talking narrow. Wouldn't you want FaZe to win then? The moment, though, <laughs> That's crazy. Like that. right. I guess three in a row is pretty cool. It's not. And I mean. <laughs> We've been watching those oh, W7M is an actual Brazil-based org, phases US-based org. What do you do ah, I see. Well, yeah. that, makes that makes more sense, actually. That makes more sense. Yeah. Got and it. The thing as well, there's always these question marks about pacing and, and how should you play this game? Should you go fast? A G2, for example, Listen, I just want to see Hertz pop off because he's insane. Basically, the top two teams when it comes to time on entry. You know what? One of the lowest teams. Third last, in fact. Tied third last. Yeah. It's phase. About a minute and a half thing. That's a good, almost close to 25 seconds slower than W7M. And so that's quite a staggering difference. But despite that, they actually have the same amount of attacking win rate. So it really does go to show in this era of Siege, you don't have to follow a script. You can play your own way. You say it's the third slowest. Is that correct? Third yes. slowest? Yeah. Right. But watching these rounds, I'm not thinking faces a slow team. Yeah, they will set things up correctly. But when they start going, they do not stop. So crazy they're bringing Warden when Ying's well, banned. Five, well, Warden's gun yeah, is insane. I think Herds was just trying to heat up. I'm, heading to the basement I'm pretty sure he just wants to heat up. To play he said, let me on Warden. Those discs are great counter oh, for the Count Patel. Flushed oh. out, though. Cyber probing. And there's another outline. He's partner in crime. 
It's Herds on the Warden, so Cyber needs to be very careful here. I mean, W7M just can't get these early contact fights to go their way. Again, it's another one for FaZe. And obviously at this point now, I think W7M look a little desperate. They're seeking it really aggressively and probably a little overzealous in that. And now they're getting really punished for it. And that's the thing. This is kind of what we want to see from W7M. Usually they do play overzealous. They do play those high risks. But again, emphasize here, they do it as a team. Family Parks, not the Gato solo or Ghost to We got to talk about KC and Hertz. Where are they? Well, I guess they're doing it for this. Because last time they did a takedown here, they threw like four smokes. Oh, he's got the flank. He's got the creep around. Hurts coming through the corridor very slowly and maybe a moment for W7M that could bring a round back around that they've still yet not been able to find successfully. Logic Bomb goes out and with oh. that Hurts has to actually pull back momentarily. Just has to buy his time. He can put that phone to sleep and re-aggress on the flank later in the round. KDS already inside of Freezer alongside Cyber. Two big targets for him to find. I think it's Hurst timing here. He wants to find more than one kill. He's looking for the lurk very slowly, but his team is saying it's not time yet. Wait. Let them all come down the staircase, then go for the flank. Double push Freezer. Hurst will be the player to go for that flank to W7M. It's the best win condition that they have thus had so far. Hurst must win this and die. Ah. Maybe get an Ah. Not like this. Watching the stairs profusely, expecting then KZ to swing. Now takes the battle in the DMR battle with the Aruni of JV92. Wants a bit of help and will seek. That was a good call. That was a good call. Single that guy out. Three on two for FaZe. W7M holding on by the skin of their teeth. And the smoke canister will just stall out the default plant for a little while longer. Little shift over the head. He's got a good push coming. Oh. Inside a freezer with no gas babes. The chance here for Nade is very unlikely. Does his twin brother come and finish the job off? Andy wants to go for the peak. Nade, the red pink, a little bit of information up close from Bill. It sounds. Oh boy. It's a disaster of a start for W7M, but for FaZe, it's a dream that's becoming a reality. 5 nothing, and that little camp of W7M is silent. If you want to know what a, what a near perfect round of siege looks like, you have to watch back that round. Anything from KDS catching the flank on the freezer stairs, despite that being a big surprise factor. No hesitation from the side of Face Clan. Nico made laundry, they go down freezer, but they make that big thing they're known for the mid round roti where they recognize this is not going to work. Three people will go backside. Big tower, meeting hatch, outside blue double door. And while w is are so distracted trying to retake Freezer with two people against one, that's all there is to find. And then the backside attack comes through. It's how to secure that fifth round in a row. I keep looking at that damn deployable shield that doesn't get taken down. <laughs> right? And despite that phase brute forcing their way through Freezer once again, what a play from KD as he reacts to the call and then immediately expects the re-aggression from KZ. Fantastic couple of shots there with the DMR and the rest of his team locking it down nicely. Really is about the balance. Gergser made a pretty big interview with TCG after their loss against W7M. Yeah, they yeah, were here on stage and, and he said, Sonics, well, we couldn't find our balance. When to aggress, when to fall back and that, that dance around. And so far in this event, up until now, I think Virtus Pro came the closest to beating WCNM by having the right pace, knowing when to hold an angle, expect aggression, and when to aggress yourself. But FaZe, they have played it perfectly when it comes to balance for these five rounds in a row. I mean, it should be said, through this upper bracket run for FaZe in the tournament thus far, at no point have they 7 0 a team. Oh. Imagine a world in which that happens oh. to begin an SI Grand Final. Well, it's not too far away <laughs> from being a reality. 5 nothing Thank start you, into the final round of the half. And again, my dear, 7 would be insane. No expectations for FaZe that they're going to squander this chance in the second half. Going on to the defense, they will be in the driver's seat for sure. Oh boy, flashes, rappel on in, and we see those of them this time. They're not fighting it, they're falling back, they're saying, okay, when you want to take space, we'll give it up. Yasha will kill a drone, fall back because they've killed five so far. JV on Solus looking to gain more intel here, but it comes down to, again, the entries. The JV92 chipping away at that drone economy, and as you can oh. see, the top left, only three remaining here for FaZe. Will that be their downfall? Will that be the error or perhaps the counterplay from W7M that they've presented in shutting that down. Could that be the win condition for them to finally get a defensive round win here on Oregon? Very well maybe. And again, we might actually see the time be an issue right now. We see here the, the, the duos, Solas, 
and the Oryx playing together on Longy's side. But the catch is there. KD is again out of the building, holding it down. One versus three. And again, it's phase that set the pace, the tone. The, tr the trendsetters at the moment in this map of Oregon, W7M, are on the back foot the entire way through this first half and remain so even towards the very end. Cyber gets aggressive through bedroom. Flush went out, gets the oh my god. On the swing. He hit him with that buckshot and it was only a down. That's crazy. I don't think anyone was expecting this. It is their map pick after all, and boy, are they showing us why. We gotta talk about something here. Gentlemen, this is a best of five. It works very differently than your traditional best of threes. It's about the long run. If you're W7M, by my experience, by what I believe in, it is not worth fighting it out on Oregon. I know that sounds crazy, but a best of five requires so much energy. Mental toll on yourself. It's gonna be a long night. I say you quote unquote give them Oregon, and yet it sucks to lose 7 0 7 1, but you at least have something back in the, in the tank. Give them Oregon? Yeah. It's been taken. <laughs> Stolen. <laughs> you let them take it. Phase are up 6 0. There's no letting. They have run all over W7M. 6 0. I think, yeah, I, what that's absolutely Phase what you do. And of course, Nick like, in the, the whenever you're game, down this bad. Have, you just get a little loose, you have a little fun, because you know you're going to lose, right? You don't sit there and, and cope and be like, we got this, boys. You don't cope, right? You just have a little fun, get a little loose, and just go next, you know? No team has ever won a map in a 7-0 fashion. The most dominant was G2, map 3 of Bank in 2019. That was a 7-1 victory. No 7-0s to speak of. Wow. I mean, history will be made one way or another tonight, that's for sure. Yeah. Get a little Go meme strat going. going. Yeah. Gets droned out, fourth back. Does get rid of the drone. Does also Three throw out a gas babe early on. Good information early for W7M. Might just find their groove on the attack. Less pressure, if you will. Although the pressure's gone at this point because they're so far behind when it comes to the scoreboard. Down 6 nothing. But I will say... I've already been a part of a 6-0 comeback at this very tournament. It is possible. But W7M will have to be utterly perfect if they are to do it. And like you said, Nick, maybe in a best of five, it's better to conserve that energy. Has to be a consideration at least. W7M, yeah, they've won majors, but not like this. Not when you've been pressured so hard in the first map so far. They got the Blitz, they got the Osa. They have a strategical way into this round without much counterplay from the defense. Handy and Cyber, they have impacts. Cyber aggressing over towards Blue. But certainly this Osa could play a pivotal role in capturing control through Freezer. For FaZe, they're able to just brute force their way through in the gunfights. But a bit of utility laid here from W7M. Yep, we gotta see Handy or Cyber make a rotate once to see those old shields getting deployed, those Talon shields, and Kadeus is there. So now if they get the intel, go for a swing, out impact goes, take that freezer control back. Five stack on site for phase defensively has kind of allowed W7M to get into very critical positions. Laundry and Freezer, no sure. control for her, it's finally, feels like a long time coming for W7M to get themselves into this very position where 60 seconds left into the round, they can start to strangulate those of phase on site. Handy. It's been quite good. Who's going to get the response for FaZe? Because it feels like it's coming. They've been the team so far in this map that have always had the answers. KDS as well with keeping the barriers through Freezer. Keep an eye on Handy though. On the chassis. If he is not flushed out, if he's not considered by the attack, he could be a difference maker. Oh, Handy wins and it gets her. The leap on snow comes in. Oh. For phase, they've got the chance to create history, but Vinicky falls. Down oh my god, they're about to get around. Coming through pillar, made for the plant. That's a big plant. Oh, Watch down at the KZ. Cyber, can he create history to begin this invitation? Oh. Oh, no. They're on the board. W7M are on the board for the first time at the six invitational. And the crowd loves it. They've been waiting for that for a long, long time. We have a call in from Jesse, who's gonna 
break something down, I guess, for us. Yeah, guys, I can't say I'm coming to you with great news for W7M fans. Obviously, this has been a rough game for them so far, and going on to the attack is going to be even more difficult than that first half, because the last time we saw FaZe play on Oregon, they were undefeated on their defenses. They got a 5-0 half against the Sonics a few days ago in playoffs. A big reason why FaZe were able to do so well on defense was because of that top floor clash play that we saw from Vidiking. That's something that I know Pengu has touched on already in the operator bands. If we see that clash from Vidiking, which plays inside of the closet, slows anybody walking into Master, and allows Handy, or KDS I should say, to swing in from Trophy and get kills, that's going to be very difficult for W7M to deal with. So watch out for that when and if we get to the Dorms bomb site. We're going to need to see something good from W7M to take it down. Quickly, Jesse, before we jump back in. Oh, no, Jesse's gone. Okay, see you, Jesse. <laughs> right, we'll talk to you later. It's all good. I think the map's going to be over soon anyway. Let's jump back into things. 6-1 the scoreline, W7M able to ward off a historic first map with that 7-0 storyline now put to bed. Does W7M, do they keep fighting this one out though? Now you got to. It comes down to 1v1, you're gonna keep going. At least until things are over. Again, the wild part round, either they have to go all the way to overtime or they gotta lose soon because losing like 7-5 again, those energy reserves. But I think you said it well, Sonox, just it's a free map in their mind, right? That's how you gotta play this mentally, but still try. It's that one round of the time mentality that yeah. needs to be taken here now by W7M. I know it seems difficult on a long journey, but that has to be the mindset here. Forget the scoreboard, take it out of your mind, treat each round as if it's zero. Zero. You cannot let that scoreboard affect you here. Teams have been able to make these gigantic comes comebacks before, and boy, wouldn't it be great if they could do it here at the Six Invitational Grand Final. The other thing as well, even if you fall short, even at N7374, you can take that momentum into your next map. You can. Start feeling comfortable in server. Say this is a warm up, if you will, right? Get everybody active, get the communication flowing, and if you end up feeling better than you started off with, that is a win for WCM here, despite losing. I'm really liking this advanced position from KZ, oh. already inside of Freezer. Some of those Goyo canisters have been dismissed by JV92, but decent counter play from FaZe on site. You can see KZ lurking around. Elsewhere though, it's Hertz contesting Cyber in blue. Oh, <laughs> big impact though from Cyber! And I'm not just talking about the nade, it's the fact that he gets the kill, and that really does put a wound for W7M onto their attack. Down a player means they cannot overload these positions on site as easily. Flash plus the smoke to allow the cross back. Really good team play then from FaZe, and Cyber's able to get out of that deep blue position. Vidiking, one more gas babe available, but holding an aggressive close angle as JV92 starts to peek down backstairs. 60 seconds then. Can W7M make a work with the man disadvantage? It's a really tough challenge, especially on a site like Basement Oregon, where you need to have a lot of pressure, but it's KZ to drop Cyber. I think JV's going for a bit of a rotate here. Oh my god. Still over towards Elbow, that does need to be cleared out. For Lee Fox there though, of course, with KZ. Shoulder to shoulder, they can push together. The flash, it's full one. <laughs> no response comes through. Three for KZ before he falls to Handy. Trades though, pillar, one back by FaZe. Down for two versus one for Stavey with his battle. Jesus Andy Christ. Versus for Lee Fox to try and seal this map for FaZe. It's down to Handy. For Lee Fox goes hunting. Kid, not with him. Oh, wow. Handy for FaZe. 7-1 So here we go into bank second map of this grand final between FaZe and W7M There's a large contingency of W7M fans inside of this arena We haven't really been able to hear them at full peak so far. It's been FaZe there's a rather large pocket of FaZe Clan supporters down in the arena, and they have been going non-stop bananas here. To bank we go, and for W7M, we look to them to now respond to the challenge set by FaZe Clan. And I mean, the best way to respond on attack, I mean, guys, you told me right yeah, before we went here, me. you love their attacks on bank, so... If I'm a W7 fan right now, what should I expect from them here? Well, I mean, we had the opportunity to cast them, Jake, against the Sonics, and they are ruthless in their ability to get quick map control. They will find any pocket of space, they will immediately take it. And with the mechanics that W7M typically present, 
they often win out those opening engagements, then compound that space into what is then a really clean execute. Okay, then I gotta say, we gotta want Cyber handy in these rounds. They were very big in those opening engagements on Oregon, especially Cyber running into his opponents always, even outside the building. I think it's important for W7 to get off to a good start here, a very strong start. Especially yeah. That buzzing is still the there. <laughs> Very much on the move, clearing out these rooms. I wonder how long it takes to fix it. Basement. So far, so good. Haven't lost anyone early. Starting to get a bit of a foothold inside of that. Clearly can tell they want to go for this top square take. Top down to the bottom, clear everything out. Maybe slow things down a little bit, and there's nothing wrong with that. No. The other thing is, we haven't really seen W7 attack that much in this series. You can see KZ there, perfect example. Happy to drain himself forward and then takes the initiative to take that space himself. He's not relying on necessarily his teammates to aid as they're doing other things around the map. Yeah, I think it's the At caster's the mic too. Time. Herds, meanwhile, makes himself known in stock. Hatch will be opened up off the back of the x from Nade, and that will put pressure in towards that open area position. ADS. Oh! Open to kill. Fast though from KZ on the drop through the hatch. Hatch opened up as well inside of open area. Just over 90 seconds. <laughs> Who's that? Around, but again, it's more of a good start from FaZe than it is for W7M. And that's not ideal for the team needing to find the response on their map pick as Handy sits inside of elevators at the very bottom, waiting to see if someone from the side of W7M gets aggressive, pushes over. Felipox is up and around that area towards main stairs, but not going towards elevator. Not just yet, at the very least. Open area in control for W7M. They still got to go and get to work over the square. They haven't even opened up at that hatch. I mean, they dropped on the hatch to open area. They're all going to come to those roamers, trade back those numbers from five, five, four, five to Sounds four, like it's coming four. from Ushra. I don't have it on the mainstream. Nope, it's mainstream. Got kill. All the better side saying, we got the most advantage. Goyo canisters, Maestro cams, they got a C4 in pocket. They're all right where they want to be. So deny the plan, and they have one more. I think we've just gotten well. used to it now in our left ear. <laughs> oh, audio's breaking a little bit. It's like my tinnitus, dude. I've just gotten used to it at this point dude no way they start off again with just like a five there's just they did this last time They had to do what exactly had to get comfortable in the server find some all good all good just one round it's just one round and we'll actually win they play it on Oregon when it's all about figuring out the mentality of the opponent, the play style they're bringing, face probably the strongest team in this event at feeling out their opponent. See, okay, are they gonna go fast? Are they gonna go slow? Right now, WM, they cannot figure out their opponent whatsoever. How'd you get the nice? I don't know. Uh, making a lot of noise inside of this arena, but there's a large contingency of W7M fans that just look glum. They cannot believe what they are seeing before their very eyes. Yesterday felt like a fever dream, but right now, for W7M, it's turning into a nightmare here at the Grand Final. Life, yeah, yeah, life. The headset life, I guess. Oh my god. That's how the first kill happened. And then cleans it up at the end as well. I think W7M again on their attacks are quite reliant on the defense spreading all the way up to the top floor. That's probably one of the, their strengths in dismantling that setup, quickly forcing defenders back towards site. But as you can see there, those on the defense that were willing to take a risk, to stay in the likes of Elevator, were rewarded. Speaking of the fact that WCM, they might want to go slow, given how Oregon played out. Surely not a 3-0, right? That much better, because now you cannot slow the game down in an easy way. Monty, you play it, extend your shield, you walk around, you control the majority of the pacing. Monty being gone, yeah, basically can't play it, but it's not defense. They might not care about that, so WCM are forced to fight. On the windows, on the doors, on the repels, nothing is free for the taking, which is funny because this is how we used to talk about W7M when they play defense. So eyes on souls then, on the Azami in sight, those keyboard barriers will be pivotal towards the late round. Will W7M have the tools to deal with that utility? I mean, look at their explosive economy. It's not great outside of the odd gone six, but that's being used elsewhere, soaked up by the castle barricades on the road. Open to kill for W7M, hurts, finally. Now though, it's about, can they capitalize? They've had a couple of opening kills, but translating those into round wins has proven to be quite difficult for a team. They can be so strong once they find the momentum. That's a second. The crowd starting to find their voice, but clearly the fan favorite in W7M, the local favorite, up two players in an advantage. 
but so many times on Oregon, this is where they'd start to capitulate. The middle portion of this round, unable to convert on the advantage that they find early on. We'll see if they can do it here with 90 seconds left. I love how they're just slowing things down on the attack. They got those two picks, no risks being taken. No one's exposed themselves to a 1v1 engagement. No one's staying on soft count for a C4, despite that we know there are no C4s to play. They're throwing things out, destroying the floor vertically, really setting themselves up for success here, and just playing this safe. Safe, the key word, but also confident. W7M are not giving away anything for free, not giving any conditions for FaZe to get back into the round. FaZe eventually will probably be forced into making a play, and it won't be a calculated one in a three versus five. A couple of low HP members as well for W7M, Hertz, JV, to explicitly name them. Souls takes an engagement, loses that one initially. Still very deep insight on the Azami, so it's got the cover of those keeper barriers. But again, if you watch that stock hatch, very pitiful for this round. Drone makes its way through, only one remaining. Rotates towards beepers because it's got that main stage control, but not from elevators. Getting work this round. Finally, double seven M flexing their muscles in the grand final. May will get this plant out. Soul as the solo for phase in a very perilous position in a one versus four. Not often. W7M can do a really good example of W7M being able to, to constrict the round. They get the early advantage. As you mentioned, Nick, they then were happy to slow down the pace. Now, slowing down the pace doesn't mean you do nothing. We saw the vertical play. We saw the defenders flushed out. We saw, of course, JV92 then able to sweep in as the defense tried to reclaim that ground whilst avoiding the vert from up above. So, Would you ever play Siege nowadays? I mean, I've been playing a little bit for... I've been playing like three, four hours a day these past few days. Trying to learn. It's a hard game to learn. It's satisfying when you learn it, but it's hard. And it's such a big, wide open the hell was that drink? It's water. That all your players are in the right positions, and that's what slowing down essentially means. Is that you say, oh guys, let's wait for this fifth player so that he is ready for his job, and then we work together. There were a lot of questions about what an old Brazilian grand final would look like in Sao Paulo. But boy, is it living up to all of the expectations set upon it. Sure, it's not Brazil versus the world, but the inter-region rivalry is clearly there. A large fan base for W7M starting to find their voice. FaZe finally has got their opponent for this last dance. The big thing is, right, W7M defined all their success overseas when they are the villain. When the crowd is saying, we don't care if you win, but they're home. They are loved by the crowd. And I do think that the desk said they might be afraid of disappointing their fans that are here because there are so many jerseys from WCBM. There are so many fans talking about them saying they're so good right now, and they are, but that means there's pressure now on them. Back to back majors, but imagine they lose six invitational back to back. How devastating would that be? In Sao Paulo, of all places, right? The one place you want to be if you're from Brazil, if you're one of these players. And it continues. The phase dominance over W7M. It's been brought up. 5-1 and one since SI 2022. Yeah, W7M, the better of the two internationally, the locally. And when these two teams meet, it's been FaZe that has had their number. Oh. Cyber aggressive oh. through the hatch, through the oh. skylight. Cyber ah, that ah really just getting well. worked. Just getting worked. Numbers were with W7M that time around and starting to just look a little bit more comfortable here in the grand final. Yeah, and it's them taking it slow. If those of them were a little bit quicker there, they would not have had Is that the actual crowd yelling? The yeah. Flanks. They're so very loud. Now we see the attack of those of I can't the imagine how loud it is in there opponents. playing. And Herds is eager to double down, not allowing KDS to have any space over towards Stock Hallway. Some of that utility now dealt with. All the Roteros have been used by W7M. Time is taken. They are advancing slowly towards the bomb side. B's going out. It's going to give Intel. Hertz finds the field to open things up. Second Hertz is awake. GG. Go next map. Advantage. B's go out from the hive launcher. Mirror position station into airlock goes belief off. Nade. Look at that sight plant. So far successful. No. Denied. Finicking with an actual shell. Does stop the plant. Hertz is about to get an ace so real quick. For W7M. They do not have to panic in this scenario. But here comes Sol. Swing. One inside a stock through the hole. Oh! 4K. Huge. And the heart of this people, clearly with W7M. Two 
won't lead on bank and starting to find a foothold here on bank and in this grand final i mean what a play from hers the star player for w7m and many have said that perhaps one of the best players at the moment don't you don't you hate this map People i'm not a huge fan of bank yeah the discussion of some of the best players i'm not a huge fan all time on full display there i have no idea what's going on on this map usually it's a hard it's a hard map it really is phenomenal just how many different categories you can put w7 in best team in the world best fundamentals with the best players and they've only really been what's my favorite map i don't know big tier one international level um, despite that they've been the biggest name for us as talent members time out called and just about evaporated as well in said time an early one but i like that from phase i like uh understanding that w7m has i like coastline i like clubhouse here in the grand occasion that is an si grand final two rounds in Chalet's all right. Faze want to halt that momentum as early as possible. I surprisingly enjoy border. Actually, that's weird, but. But again, really good clearance from W7M playing off that grip, and they were able to use that numbers advantage really well towards site. Cafe, I'm not really good at cafe, so I don't know. I don't know what I'm doing on that map, <laughs> to be honest. Very good at changing things around when it doesn't work. Not just for the attack, for rotating around the map, also defense, whether it's different bomb sites, different operators, or for example, Cyber not making that aggressive skylight flank early in the round. And if Villa's you're the coach, okay. Call the timeout, you're probably not going to talk about, oh, guys, you know, wait for the attacks, we're going to pop off. You're only Five down a single round. Go. You're talking defense structure. You're talking mentality. You're talking the communication in the server. Or if you're a coach saying, guys, ball. I noticed that we're trying to make plays around the map like an organ, but this is bank. We don't need to be the ones who make the action happen. We do have other wing conditions. I haven't seen the Outback rework. I don't know what the Outback rework looks like. So, or maybe I have seen it. I just don't remember it. said utility peppered all across the map. We saw the Valkyrie camera just as one instance inside of lobby, but we see rotations, mirror windows, open area is probably going to make or break this round for either team. Oh, Intel from Hertz. Now, if Souls ever leaves servers free for the taking, Hertz will take it, but there you see it. It's been found out by Souls. Know that Hertz is not moving the drone left or right because that's going to make noise. Just waiting there patiently, seeing if Souls makes a significant misplay or perhaps checks the cameras. JB92 on the north, certainly going to be a big factor in this round. If he does go through Garage, try and sneak his way in, that's certainly a possibility. Oh, the intel game here from both sides. Valkyrie oh, fans, oh. yes, drones on the attack, but you got to act upon this intel. Now you know the Rome is very much active. From <laughs> this this crowd is crazy. That's <laughs> 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 Herds is pushing through, can he make a play? Oh Herds in towards Archives, trying to clear out this position. Vidiking running around down below, handy, getting the f not 9s ready. So far though, Herds hasn't found anyone. Cyber. Ooh, Ooh. JV92, has he slipped in? KD6 has got no idea. With the way that he positions, the way that he aims, the timing is everything, and he's still got that chance. Wow. No clue at all! The Nook slips in through the night! Five versus four, and again for the third round now, W7M have found the opening engagement. And it has gone their way. And with that, garage control. But I believe JB doesn't get away. No, Cyber catches him on the rotate. Nice kill back for FaZe. Evens things up with just over 60 seconds remaining. That's what I love about, you know, Siege. This depth that we see. We don't see nuclear often right now. But for Garage take, that's the perfect operator. Hides from the roof of camera perfectly. Double Nitro. Double Nitro available here for defense. So FaZe still have plans and our potential. I see it now. WCNM is 4v4, they have the manpower, they got a ton of smokes and flashbangs, they can disrupt the vision of defenders, but those C4s, they don't need to see, they just need to land. Nitrosol in hand for Cyber, oh. puts it away, lands a couple of tags onto Hertz, feels like warning shots from what FaZe can do defensively. W7M, they want to go for this plan, the gas base come out to deny that position, still time it, now he comes to the drop, in a bit of an unexpected plan, position doesn't come through the doorway, gets into a different spot, oh. Oh. The plant doesn't oh. stick it, anticipating nitro cells, but they're already expended inside of the smoke. It's he wild, it <laughs> absolutely wild. Phase, and that plant will be successful. Now the retake is on for phase clan. They just oh. What kind of madman goes brain inside of a smoke? Response from KZ, Andy Carter. They're back, they're back, they are back. Invitational debut, but 
my word, what a phenomenal support player. Able to drop down, dodges the canisters, then sidesteps a nitro, finds a kill, gets the pick, goes prone, finds another. What a phenomenal play. We always talk about KC, Hurts, their injuries, they get the kills. They're like plus 50 this tournament. I do think that a team is only as good as the backbone, the anchors, the pillars, the supportive play, the network. They drone you in, they give you intel, they make the calls, they get the diffuse down. And yes, Mother Cover has to be there. Look at this from Nate. Perfectly reading the situation on when to advance and when to get the bomb down. And it's not often someone who is tasked with getting that kit down when it comes to lockers and CCTV on bank is going to go for that mega play. No. And he's moving around trying to dodge any potential nitro cells along with those gas pipes. Eventually, then sits inside of the smoke, goes prone, anticipating that clear across over towards CCTV. Perfect game sense. And so far, Nate has been so impressive. I would say there are so many players in that scenario with the pressure so high, they would just hold F on keyboard and pray the bomb goes down because the enemy will miss the C4, but the best best in the world, they don't pray for the right opportunity, they create the opportunity, they make the space, and they make the play. Alrighty then, top four, we go, round number five, W7M rolling this momentum forward on attack, and well and truly silencing the doubters after a disaster. You've always been in a siege. Number one. Um... As mentioned, top four, Mira. I played it on launch, and, and then well, years later. <laughs> So, I mean, there's a lot of utility once again for the attack to deal with, but they have the explosive tools to do so. That's the thing, though. We've seen phase down three. So, no, I haven't always been into Siege. The there was like five years, probably, that I didn't touch this game. And then I played it a lot in one season, and then I kind of stopped for a couple years. And now I'm playing it again. And most importantly, the opening. It's good. It's a good game. It's just like, it's hard, man. It's a tough game to learn. And the Valkyrie as well is in play. Now, often we don't get to see just how much value that is providing because we don't know exactly who's watching what cams at any given time. But if they're not found, just like that, they can be deadly. So some really good drone work again from Nade. Oh boy. Hurts on what made you stop? stop? I just like playing a lot of games. I'm not a kind of player that plays one game for like thousands of hours. I play a game for a couple hundred, sure, and then I'll move on. So far, W7M have found the response that they absolutely required coming into the second map for the grand final phase. Just feels like momentarily. Except for CS. Okay, well that was that's different. And they find a way to get an opening kill. So far, the early engagements have been going the way of W7M very consistently here on bank. It's very evident that FaZe is sitting back right now, saying, guys, don't make the active play. Let them come in, then play together. No one's swinging, no one's taking risks, but they're giving them too much space in the attack. They're at the bomb side with a minute left in the 5v5. One minute left into top square they go, opening up these sight lines. There will be a contest, though, from FaZe. Stock hallway still in their favor. Keep it better to plug the hole. Salt gets aggressive. Hell, Thank Nate you. hasn't got the clue to be aware of the position right. he's standing in. Four versus four. Great job from Hurts yeah, to at least get cover. that, that quick little oh. little comeback kill. KZ onto Cyber. W7M retake the advantage with 30 seconds left. The flash KDS for White. He's wary though of a stock push, but no one's coming from that direction. Handy to fall as well. Oh boy. Advantage crowd buff, crowd buff, crowd buff, crowd buff. Crowd buff. Look out. Marching towards this site, finding kill off the kill. Down a bit of King into one versus three. He will fight one. No! And again, it's Herds over towards that top square into stock hallway position. Now, perhaps W7M probably shouldn't have let that first pick go against them with that player on drone, but a very snappy trade. He pushes into sight, able to find even more pressure. He just thrives in that particular part of bank. That's the big thing about this being an even matchup. We're not seeing those usual multi kills from WSM where they find two, three, four kills in quick succession. We're seeing trades mostly in the beginning, one for ones or one for zero. But that round we just witnessed was the first time with WSM they get three kills very quickly because Hertz he finds that opening, and it's all because of the IQ. Hertz finding the Valkams, all three I believe, walks into sight, 
doesn't plan. Holds it down, waits for people. They know FaZe will go for those pushes because it did earlier. We saw Souls get the opening, but again, the trade was perfect. As I know you guys said this. every map is defender-sided, but like, the plant heading into this match. A 21 plant like are they getting the smoked on defense right now, or what's happening here? Five, but there's always that moment for the attack to just set things up and make that decision. Do you go for the plant? Do you go for kills? And yeah. given the positions in which the attack had, that was the more favorable condition. And that's why W7M was so strong on attack. Oh boy, Brava info here. The value, of course. If you don't know what this does, well, you can hack Intel. That means you disable it, fall the defense, and it becomes yours. So now those finger mines, if a defender walks in there and it's activated, they will Oh, this one's a little bit more balanced. Oh, interesting. Intel, and it takes away some enemy. Final round of the half here for W7M's map pick. Looking to take a 5-1 advantage into the second half mm. a very significant advantage that would be phase desperate now to find a second defensive round purge is heating up bro attacking on bank is very prevalent a second defensive round could be enough for phase to maybe allow them to have a comeback potential in that second half Handy on the oh round yeah round oh yeah w7m have got good control of this map have they not so far in this first half and again herds is commanding map control he's warding the defense what? away catching them off guard on rotations and now w7m can lean into this significant advantage for the majority of this action phase this is the strongest round so far from w7m minute 45 opening kill they got oh and now cyber down to a single point of i like that though yeah, i like that kind of fights as well the back Oregon phase were winning time and time again, but here on bank, W7M have been able to get them to go into their advantage, and again for what feels like the third or fourth time, a two-player advantage. Now, though, in the final round of this half, oh. Sonos has got a big oh. task. He's cut off. Hatch opened up, stuck over towards blue stairs. He needs to hold this position. SMG now in hand. He has two gas canisters to clutch up for phase. Goyo canister as well will implode, and that just gives him a little bit of time to set himself up. See the flank though, third turn on Souls, about to fight multiple angles here, has to make the right decisions with no intel, just game sense. 50 seconds remaining, can FaZe get a clutch round to close this half, keep themselves close on that scoreboard. W7M though, they've been good, so good at overwhelming these side positions, winning these fights, but KDS able to get one, Souls to fall, couldn't hold out towards Blue Stairs, and certainly couldn't take anyone with him, trades go out, two versus two. Oh boy. So oh boy. Brought it back. Oh With boy. Seconds left in the round. It's a two stack on site. KZ and Hertz. Where's the kid though? And they fall. Angle foul from Vidiking. Hertz knows the KDS is here. Close left in garage. Expecting maybe the swing from Vidiking. Hasn't come just yet. Time. A huge factor. Doesn't have. Wow. He the kill. He's got to go hunting. Main stairs though is where the kid is. Could grab yeah, it. Doesn't elect to. Hertz now has got red time to find this kill onto Vidiking. Vidikin just has to hide. That's all he needs to do. Don't make a step. Don't make anything go wrong. He's getting close out. <laughs> oh, too close for comfort, but Vidikin holds on. What a round. And phase two clutch it out at the end of the half. Two to four. But W7M still take the lead going into our second half. Phase did not play a conventional bank basement there in my, in my eyes. It's three versus five, and they are spread so widely across the entire bomb side. We got Souls, Server Stairs, you have KDS involved, and that third player in the middle. They have basically a line with a middle link. No one had backup. No one could help one another. So they have to rely on individual gun skill to try and even back those numbers, and they do it successfully. All right, let's go and have a listen in with Jesse on his thoughts from that opening So half. many wireless Hello, mice. Guns, let's go. Fan, Pengu, I'm <laughs> coming to you at the half point to tell you to keep an eye on Cyber for the second half. Despite the fact that he's had a pretty rocky map so far, the last time that FaZe Clan played on bank was in the upper bracket against Los. And that happened to be Cyber's strongest map through the entire six invitation. How was the crowd so today? Far. He had an EPS of they weren't so loud the first map because they got 7-1, but play on they're loud this he map, like really game. loud. He loves to play Buck when they're attacking in on the basement or when they're attacking open area. He'll typically choose the Ash if they're attacking top floor or if they're going to Teller's archives. Sometimes he will pull out that IQ if they want to go and deal with some Valkyrie cameras if that's causing them any problems. So I know it's been a rough game so far. I know Herds has kind of been rolling over FaZe Clan, but watch out for Cyber because this is one of the maps where he does amazing things. All right, Jesse, just for a quick one here. What do we have to watch for W7M in response? 
For W7M, I want to see them getting aggressive to shut them down. If there's a buck oh, over on your map, maybe below your bomb site, maybe above your bomb site, you gotta get active. You gotta take them down early. That needs to be the key for W7M. Right, thank you, Jesse. Thank you, so much, Jesse. Thank you very much. <laughs> right, so, seventh round to begin the second half, and a great start from Sol as well. Jesse was mentioning aggressiveness. Herds the down. Defense. They could win a round. But through stock, an opening well, goal for another Sol, round. So that's the perfect start for Baze. And I really like what Jesse mentioned as well with Cyber as we get a look back at that oh replay. God. Cyber on Buck gets super quick map control, ridiculously quick, especially transitioning in towards that open area position. Nade is holding that currently. He is though on drone and he'll look up above taken low. Doesn't elect to drop the hat straight away though. It's gonna be a very aggressive start here. FaZe has already got Nade in a very perilous position. Stuck inside of open area, goes for the spray. Now expecting response from that stock hatch, but no drop to come through just yet. KZ loved his position though over towards main stairs. Close angle, shotgun, and he should be good oh, for no right. KDS, nice shot. I mean, he did have a slight high ground advantage and then shot through the stock wall. All right. for Leapox cannot get very far. And a five versus two start from FaZe. So quick in their approach to get inside of the map. And they are just slaughtering through this defense of W7M. That last round of the opening half proving to be so pivotal. If FaZe are going to play like this, W7M are in for a tree. Great shot from JV92, but the pressure won't stop there. No, from main stairs, it's KDF. FaZe make it 3-4. That's a statement. We have gone through the last, what, two weeks or so saying, Defender cited this, defender cited that. The numbers very much prove that it was indeed for a very long while a heavily defender cited meta. But as more teams have gone home, as we've seen who the best teams in the world are in the current present time of Siege, that number doesn't matter anymore. Defense or attack, if you're a phenomenal team, which both of these two are, it doesn't matter what side you're on, it matters what you do in every single round. Well, but what about that time of entry, though, for FaZe? We don't typically see that from them. Back on Oregon, it was this concise gameplay. <laughs> I love all the pieces of well. paper. Off the fact that they got that oh. opening pick through the barricade into stock, and they talk about an opening start from there. Oh, no shot. They just felt like, let's play off of that. Yeah, I mean, confidence was really flowing from them. They then put under a lot of pressure inside of open area. That's why W7M tried to react and hold main stairs so that they could fortify that position. Didn't work out. They simply didn't win their engagements uh, when they tried to transition. So some really, really good work there from FaZe. And are both teams what, resilient? Yeah. Very, very <laughs> but they are rooting for one though, team more than the other. Obviously, there's fans of both teams here, but... W7M is definitely the is crowd favorite, look, for sure. Look, look, they, banned. they banned Ying and Solis. So now you're on defense. They, they are an intel reliant team. They don't know where those drones are from the attackers, and that's why the attack was so quick. They had drones in open area, drones in heaven, entries run the building, block the floor open, and you just feel like you're under so much pressure from the get go on defense. And you, W7M, they banned the Solis. To top four we go then for round number eight. It's a double, in fact, triple hard breach lineup here from FaZe. Love that. You have Habana, Ace, and Thermite. So you'll be able to open up Kanto Wall. You'll be able to open up the main walls as well and apply pressure onto this defensive structure. Good observing. Yep. Things that you can pick apart here. The big question mark now, the mirror windows. How much value can you get? There's no Ash, there's no Kali, no real counterplay from FaZe in that regard. In fact, they don't have smoke grenades, so those mirror windows, that intel, will likely stay up the entire round. I mean, I think it's just the ranged hard breach, right? You've got to combo Habana and or Ace to clear those positions without the likes of a Capital as mentioned. Yep. Let's see. Hurts took the advance on the window, might go for a punch and a quick peek with the right timing, he might find Cyber from behind. Yeah, Cyber just outside Terrace, wanting to make his way in towards the oh. square. Has done it. No! Wow. A couple of seconds later and Hurts may <laughs> have missed that opportunity. Great opening kill for W7. That's the kind of aggression that Jesse told us at halftime he's expecting. He desires from W7M, but one back from KDS. Really strong kill. Oh, that just off of Hurts is even stronger, and it makes its impact known. Once again, a four on three. We know how important the Rapole game is, so a huge Nitro there. Can that potentially make things easier for W7M? It's they crazy how fast these pros can, like, identify and spot a target phase in all of the play. stuff that's on they their screen. No of, well, sorry. They have Wild. One of that's the one place that can stop this plan. Because there's no C4s, if you clear out janitors, they can maybe plant here. 
50 seconds left in the four on three for W7M. Faye started to go for that top square push third in the round. Herds. Bro. Herds is farming. Oh my God. Oh my God. Bro, he is owning. For the task of responding up 5-3 now on bank. Gentlemen, we now officially have a great series ahead of us because we saw Oregon being, oh no. We saw Kawansi and Bank going, oh no, not the 0-2, right? No, no. When that's the performance you see, they're here to play. Look at that crowd. What it means for these fantastic fans of Sao Paulo, Brazil. Seeing their local team, their local champions, looking to reach the absolute pinnacle that we have in this game. What a C4, what bro. The repel, not yourself. Oh, my the God. Nice oh, my God. What a freaking round. Holy. Come alive yeah. on this second map. Look, it, it's hard that was insane. Because it, that was insane. Every team struggles to shut him down. Yeah, that's the thing. I'm not gonna go and say, oh, you know, face they missed this, or they missed that. I'm that not, was insane. Was probably the best player in the world right now, not for like the last year, basically. So you know, what? this is why they say my name as one of the strongest current players. 15 and five. Yeah, 15 and five is a statement. And I was gonna say, <laughs> well, the well, not to put it down, but I Yeah, one and six, but uh, very different positions. Like a zombie uh, on site, hey, you can feel that pressure. Oh, this is great. You got I love this. You're looking to open up sight lines into sight. You don't have a lot of help. You're kind of stuck on an island. He's been playing those kind of roles. Now on the water. The only thing I would ask of him is, can he survive a little longer in the round? He needs to have that impact on the water. So the Capital has now been brought out. Direct counterplay to the mirror, looking to dislodge those positions. We've seen in the past the mirror from W7. Well, I mean, obviously oh, the last yeah. round, it can be very challenging for the attack to deal with. Purge is hiding inside of open area. He's gone mid drone so far. Oh. And best for the counter capital, don't let him get to site to execute 5v5. This play right now oh. oh, Purge finds one, but he's not done. No and way. Oh my god. I slid up from Cyber. A one and done kind of position. But he did get his one. Now makes it a four versus four <laughs> for FaZe. I don't think that's such a bad thing. No, I certainly think this heavily favors defense. Milusi died. Not needed for the plant deny. Not needed for side. It's a gun for hire. And the gun, well, you got one and a half kills. Well, you're exactly right. Three gas fades still available for KZ. Double nitro as well. I'm presuming that the mirror windows are still standing. I don't think we've seen those necessarily dislodged by the shock drones from Vidiking. So yep. W7M arguably still in a very good position. I agree. I mean, time as well, right? They're still a minute and ten. Hatch is getting opened up. And this time around, the big difference is server is free for the taking. Yeah, it definitely is. The minute will last for a very long time. Yeah, no blue stairs hold either. So it does mean at least for W7M, they will have those gas babes. KZ will be the one to watch in that regard. Couple of nitro cells as well. Two, in fact, JB92 and Philippox. They've still got garage control. That's where Nade is going to be holding. Red from Philippe, so important. Souls to open up with secondary hard breach. 40 seconds left in a four on four as W7M are seeking that map point. Again, three gas canisters, two nitro cells, a default plant here. 30 four seconds. Phase should be a challenge. There's not a lot of time. It makes it a very difficult task now for FaZe Clan. One that they need to overcome from a very difficult Can they position. do it without herds? Final gas bait thrown by KZ to deny further incendiary from Seoul. It is KDS that finds a kill. Suddenly they've got Elevator. They've got the back of the Cyber. Dude, this is... W7M could get pinched here. Nate gets a very crucial kill off the Cyber. Needed that. Seoul now can make his way. Oh, oh he's dropping out of Seoul. He's dropping out of Seoul. Seoul can play behind the bomb chassis. He has to stick it. Uh. There's no time. He has to stick it. He has to stick it. What do you make of this, guys? Honestly, what do you make of this? Imagine he hit that nitro, though. What an insane round there. Great response. And the crowd is rallying behind W7M. Now on match point 
here on bank that point on bank more specifically 6-3 lead and it doesn't look like they'll be taken down from here it looked like WCM and Oregon they had no solutions at all and on bank it's all they have in so many different ways as well it looked like the attack might go sideways c4 comes flying <laughs> out as well just denying oh, oh. it I, I don't know I don't think it did get to it. I think he got that kill, but still, regardless, playing couldn't go down. You saw that at that very last moment. I'm glad this map is closer because right that last time. one was. It would happen. It happened so fast. But in these clutch moments, Nick, this has been a massive turnaround, a shape shift from W7M here yeah. on this map of bank compared to what we saw on Oregon, where they struggled immensely. They couldn't get involved. Phase were so dominant. They were able to get very significant early advantages. That has changed clearly here on, on bank. Three map points looking to respond to that earlier map of Oregon in style from our back-to-back -back major champions looking to now claim a map for themselves here for the grand final and the crowd is getting right behind them. I like to believe that WZMM's talent is to pacify the I mean, it's a little closer. Player, I guess it's down. not a close if game. A it's a little closer. They'll shut that down too. And while it didn't work out on Oregon, which map that WZMM do not like playing, they pick bank. And it is working for them right here. The shore, Cyber is still quick to the punch. He's four and eight. He's always trading his life for something. Never going to get the initial kill. WCM, and they're doing a great job and denying them entries. Very quick control over towards top blue. We saw the Kiba barrier set up in stock above open area. That's going to be a challenge for the attack to clear. But the Amaru might come from down below. Souls will prepare, wait for the call. Will this work for FaZe? Only one on site. That's JV. 1v5, basically. We told them go fast. No. They're on. There's the Amara grapple hook up through the hatch. Zyber so got that open kill. That open kill. Oh, the pressure. Oh. Oh. Ah. They're coming up. Shut down, though, by Cyber through Staff. Makes it a three on three. Handy, though, also reestablishes that lead for FaZe. Down to Nade and Herds. To bring this back in the round, there is the down onto Cyber, so it's essentially a two versus two. Still, with 90 seconds left, but FaZe have got themselves side control. Kit though, out of hand, still outside. And Nade had to run outside, so Herds, the sole member on site, he's now being flushed out. Can FaZe constrict sight and try and get that plant down? Herds with beepers control, playing off with the info. Cyber trying to get as he crawls forward. Do they go for the revive? Yes, they do. Herds is out of beepers. Nade, in a one versus three. Comes in from behind, a couple of low members for FaZe, but he can't connect, the shots to FaZe. They withstand one of three map points. FaZe did not have the diffuser in hand towards the end there. So a huge couple of kills, again with Nade jumping outside, they had a read. In the three versus one, Nade a huge clutch player though, so they've done a clinical job in shutting out that round and extending bank. Kind of want to to just get 20. It's so Be important for FaZe that all the members acted together. There was only JV on side from WSMM, but we saw quickly Hertz KC dropping down hatches, trying to help him out. But the fact that FaZe was so close together, the response was instant. You see here, outside the side of the window, Cyber in double door. The moment they get the kill, WSMM, they drop with reinforcements, and KC almost made the hero oh. play, almost getting a 3k. I mean, I think he did in some ways. He did his job, he got two. He was yeah. able to kind of just at least bring the round back for W7M so that they had a chance. A chance, though, that, of course, still was squandered. For FaZe, yeah, that's one. Two more to go, though, when it comes to these map points that W7M have still got acquired in their back pocket. Four to six is the scoreline. Phase withstand one of these defensive rounds of W7M. They've got to keep attacking, and I like the pace that they are also bringing here on bank. Again, when you think about the time on entry for Phase, typically on the slower side, we haven't seen that from them. If they feel that you think Siege is making a comeback, well, Siege has always been Siege has always been steady. It's always been a steady game. Um, with the power of Jinxie, absolutely is getting more players. Honestly, I came back to Siege because of him. I'm just saying. Mindset. Don't tease me like that, guys, because I want to see it. I really do. Take us and the, the, the update on year nine sounds really good. Oh, man. I think it sounds good. Side rush last round. Of course, not going to happen again. They're going to slow it down here. Got the Grimbies as one of the big wing additions. We saw Hurts last time on CEO playing aggressive between the windows. That's the only Nitro Cell they've got. So we think about that Repel game last time out, very strong in trying to deny that from W7M. Well, this is the only Nitro Cell to really try and deal with that. 
Will it work? KDS precariously close, but it doesn't. I believe it has been exploded. In fact, it has been used. Herzlo will hold the position at least temporarily. And mind saying, there's no Capital, there's no next in the meta. You can just chill in the corner of your Hertz. He cannot be cleared unless they go downstairs below. So he can just relax. Oh, oh Mirror Market handy. Herz is down again. Herz is down again. Lo and behold, that means quite a lot for FaZe now as they can start to push into the map from other avenues. Say stock, say top square. Don't have to put everything into this Repel game. Interesting. The ankle there once been lovely repelled, finding that kill from handy on Kanto. Yeah, long line to side. Now there's him on the back foot. No C4, no plant deny, but they have genders control with that mirror window, or that position at least. That might get them somewhere. KZ senses that this is an important part of the map to hold, but it's JV92. As is often the case to step up this time around. Uh -oh. KZ eventually produces results, and it's now a four versus three in favor of W7M. Yeah, it becomes a big issue now for FaZe. They don't have the numbers in terms of hitting site quickly. They're still very much outside of the map. Three, all of them are outside, still on these repels as well. Trying to maybe get lucky, find one through Kanto, the wall near the elevators, KDS. Oh. And it's a double no, it's just the one swing in towards airlock. He has been able to get in successfully with the kid in hand as well. Red pick trying to clear front test, needs to, does, barely stays alive. Oh. And handy is well by the second of the round, but Janitor, strong for the defense. Oh, you're kidding me, Vita King! Bro, to do it like this on an SI Grand Final now creates the one versus one into red time. KZ can play the time. He doesn't have to do anything. Just allow him to plant and then swing at the last second. Vita King cannot get off of this now. He sticks. He sticks it all the way. Pros do not fake. Not at this level. KZ to win the match. Oh! Oh! What a shot. You are not taking it this easy. A 12th round is required. And eyes. Vidicky might be a support player. He might plan down the diffuser. He might dabble on Mung's on occasions. But in the 1v1, down on match point, he will find the kill and he will take FaZe further into bank. I mean, there's a reason I picked him for my fantasy team. <laughs> The rest of my team might have been pretty ordinary, but I tell you what, this man is absolutely key to the success for FaZe. Now one round away from potential OT. I mean, let's replay that round, just the ending at least. Rappel in, unlock, that double window position never goes well. Yeah, yeah. But the key to barriers, arguably, working in favor of the attackers. They had a little bit of cover. And also, yeah, we see uh. the angle handy found. So the rappel on him. We see the this was a nice the shot. That was a nice. This is also an insane shot. Need to Does JV need to make that presence known? Freaking clean. Obviously, the kit in front of him. That then loses that position. You then lose the kit. You then allow that 1v1 because of the post plan scenario that happened because he got that <laughs> JV probably is better off dying oh. and getting swung on from his teammate. Unfortunately, these little moments, though, at this level, will get punished. And we saw that from Vidiking. Here's the thing. When the stakes are this high, <laughs> when the crowd is getting so loud, <laughs> you really can't hear all that much as a player. Nah. And those small micro decisions, you will make a misstep at some point. It was a small mistake, but it did have an effect on the outcome of that round. Well, the neutrals now begin to pray for overtime. <laughs> oh. Fencing that this match deserves it. Come on. Vidiking, diffuser in hand off the back of a huge clutch to keep his team's chances alive here on bank. Now, mind you, if Faze win this map, suddenly you're up 2 nothing in a grand final. Yeah. And suddenly then you can find yourself one map away from winning said grand final. It would put so much pressure on W7M. Even then, also coupled with the fact that you had a 6-on-3 lead. I don't think we go OT here. I think, close this out on your map. This I think we're going next map. Round. For W7M, phase it's a free punch. They get a chance to send us to that infinite overtime. Yeah. The good thing, though, I would say, W7M, they are on defense. They will set up the structure, the problems of phase they have to solve. And I would say, when the pressure is like this, that's where you want to be. You make the enemy make the first move. You make them feel the pressure because the star right now is also phase. They might just lose okay. this map. Oh. Oh. Now that was a, a half-hearted swing. Didn't want to overcommit. Exactly. And, and to be fair, nothing wrong with that. It's more of a close-angle check. I think more. 
than anything. 90 seconds left in the round. How quickly the time can dissipate for FaZe. That's okay. They've still got five players up, but for W7M, they've given up that map control. Firmly on site, down in basement, and it all comes down to this round now to see whether we go to overtime. Denial is there for W7M in terms of the plan. One Nitro Salt, that's for Leapox. The three gas paves of Nade, and that's basically it. They don't have much else on the defense to deny a server push. And we're back to classic phase. It's the calm before the storm. A five versus five. A ton of utility still available for both teams as we close into the last 60 seconds. Will we go to overtime? <laughs> so, 50 seconds. Ran right, right into that flash. Five so blind. <laughs> create the opening punch that could have such devastating ramifications. Cyber through blue. And a mute chairman for good measure as he gets rid of that keeper barrier. Time the biggest factor. It's an ally now for W7M. Still two gas babes. Needs to be dealt with. How do you do that? You probably push through the rotate in deep towards site. Planted the bomb chassis. Good even. It's crazy, dude. You ping out the bulletproof cam. With the kit. Now Instantly. Blue. They're opting for a change up. With 20 seconds left in the This round. is crazy low time. This is crazy low time. You could have just shot it with your gun. It's Davey that gets the opening kill. Suddenly it's falling apart for Faze, but Rothman's unsuccessful. It's advantage for W7M time. The biggest factor starts as the second is out of the plan. That just out doesn't hit the mark. Drop down, JDS. GG. Yes. GG. Oh, I get to watch Skyscraper at a pro level? Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. They will be very prevalent. For the remainder of this grand final. Yeah, I was gonna say no new bands from either of these two teams, but one thing to note here is that WSM they have played 27 maps so far before this grand final started. They have banned 18 different operators. However, FaZe have played 19 maps, they've banned 16. My point is that both of these two teams throughout the entirety of SI24 have been banning very different operators based on their opponent. But this is a best of five against the same team. So, of course, it's not a big surprise. We're going to see the same kind of operators being bent out because that's what the enemy team would like to play. So, away we go. Third map of the grand final. FaZe and W7M so far giving us a spectacle that is very much befitting of SI24 in Sao Paulo, Brazil, with 10,000 strong watching inside of the arena, with viewership records being broken around the world. One to one. But by the end of this one, one of these two teams will find themselves one map away from writing their names in the history books. Over to T Karaoke we go then for round one. As mentioned, Kaid banned out. So it's the mute then for Waldenar here on top of drones as well for W7M. Where is he placing these nomads? On runouts or something? From phase. Keep in mind, he already shot the in place. Yeah. He already the shot two of them. Cyber oh. able to time KZ, but unable to find the kill. Damage matters though. No duck being played, no thunder it either. Not really pressing in the current meta game. So KZ, who's a very offensive player, will be, you know, playing a little bit Yeah, this is a BO5. It's 1 1 right now. And no, they are not playing on controllers. One or two bullets is enough to take you down. So WSM, not the greatest start for them. But they got fallback options. They got one C4. They got those Val cameras. And I'm looking at this attacking structure from base. Handy is the only player lurking on the other side of the map currently. So it might be a more forceful take here through Geisha. A little bit more direct from phase as opposed to taking full map control. Yeah, and phase of course, have been quite direct in their approach and their attack so far throughout the first few maps that we've seen. We saw how dominant they were on Oregon, yeah. clearly as well on Bank. And I'm maybe expecting that as well in Skyscraper. There's two ways you can go, Nick. Direct or that sweep across. Right now, a lot of pressure on that Geisha position. They can still go for a rotate later on. The good thing about Skyscraper, I think at least for Fades, it plays into their strengths. Slow approach, concise, and then eventually hit site fast. I agree with you. I do think this favor is their play style. It's all about that middle round. Early, you should only find kills on the attack if defenders are running at you. Take Imagine holding a window like that IRL. <laughs> We're entering that territory right now. Upside down. Looking for what could be a great flank. He's been lurking for some time as the kills will light up that feed. 60 seconds on the clock for Leap. Get you one more. Can he oh. hold this position? Ooh. A little bit of timing there. Vidiking might have an opening, but FaZe playing from behind. Yeah, looks away momentarily, slips in towards the mezzanine. Vidiking still on that balcony. 45 seconds. KDS up towards Black Stairs. IQ as well to get rid of this information that is still prevalent because of that Valkyrie. The counter, of course, is the IQ. Two nitrous cells available 
In the back pockets of W7M, very much will be required here, despite the 4 on 3. There's one blown somewhere along the map, but clearly to no real avail. KDS now trying to push up through Sushi, and now taking that fight, can't get into a Geisha. The defense is perfect for W7M thus far to begin on Skyscraper. He's a very defender side of the map, KDS not expecting. Oh boy, Herds is alive. Right off the rip. He really is. GG. And this GG. Is it's so hard to attack on Skyscraper. You go five people one side, you have no split pressure. You spread across, lose a couple of gunfires, and you fall apart. Face, the cat didn't have a leg to stand on there. Very early on, it just went sideways for them. I mean, again, right, it was pretty classic phase. They initiated the attack direct, good pressure through Geisha, as you mentioned. They did try and lurk their way on the other side of the map. Handy was down below for yeah. quite some time. Cyber then came across late to try and aid. But then the transition at that midway point of the map where we so often see the attack. Amos just down, needs to go away 100% in all games. It can't, bro. You just, I'm sorry. You, you can't do that. You can't do that to players who want to play on their couch. You can't do that to players who want to play on their couch on their big ass TV that are just trying to vibe, you know? You can't do it. But WSMM actually recognizing, hey, we don't got to make a play here. We can relax. Yeah, and on this map as well, this is where we probably don't get too excited in terms of the first half. I think the expectations might just shift a little bit as we continue on in this grand final. Skyscraper, very much the most defender side. The accessibility of a controller is way too strong to just get rid of aim assist everywhere. That's not going to happen. And it's not going to happen. Them doing so, yes, is great. Relieves the pressure for them going into the second half, knowing that they've done that job. If they fail in this first half and face start getting a massive amount of attacking rounds, then we will change our tune. But as of right now, largely, W7M should be looking for quite literally four to five rounds, Nick. I agree with you. There is one thing, though, that I want to see from the attacker, especially phase. I want to see more of those spicy operators, those like that flexibility. I want to see the Monty, see an Osa, see some smoke being used, maybe a glass, because so far, phase, they've been very vanilla throughout the series. And while they're not like the craziest rush team, per se, we know they can play those style of operators and it's not been oh boy. so far first round to lose the opening second round as well it's jv taking down handy jv 92 continues to be that guy in this tournament single wall opened up w7m with the man advantage on such a defender sided map they're living up to expectation Life being a little difficult right now for Vase, stuck out on the balcony unable to really get a good foothold oh nate oh very aggressive doesn't oh. have the angle though and honestly, a vault over there would have been super aggressive. Rightfully doesn't go for it. Wants to still maintain good position close to the site. Five versus four. And right now, W7M playing this the right way. Make these entries difficult. Force them to stay on that balcony. Force them to really think about Jesus. taking a step inside of the map. Well, that's exactly what Cadius has done. Through that single wall in towards VIP, maybe anticipating the push oh. through the stairs. Casey had no idea. A response from KDS is so swift. Oh my god. Souls. Equalizer Coming real quick. Towards VIP. Mm -hmm. Strong map position now for phase and suddenly very prevalent on the attack in the three versus three. And KDS will fall though. Response from Felipox is perfectly timed. And a fast round now here in the second round. Yeah. Of oh, he's just aiming too tight. That's tough. Fight back, Gumine takes you out. Take out the Gumine, somebody will swing you regardless. There's no way out in that round. Now, we can talk about defense being one-sided. You know, defenders should go up 4-2, 5-1, whatever. And that's one side of the story. The other one is confidence. The issue with Pink and Sky's... You guys are arguing about Amos list right now? <laughs> on COD and really Halo? And Actually, both those games started on PC, which is kind of funny. How it, like, evolved the console market at some point it's kind of cool cool to think about i think the w7m fans getting very very chirpy perhaps outnumbering their phase counterparts both in number and now in sound as we look back at that gv92 very nice kill through that vertical for lee pox to double down perhaps sound cue on that karaoke rappel and they compounded nicely and bitter king unfortunately trapped in that goo mine now two things here as well Early on, firstly, again, we don't want to get too overexcited. It's defense here on Skyscraper. Let's again remind everyone. 
But more importantly, this is FaZe's map pick. Yeah. Didn't they win last year? W7M, you win FaZe? Steal this, you're one map Wait, away. Wait, was it FaZe? I thought it was... Or W7M. I think I think chat was saying W7M won twice back to like back to back. This would be their third if they win. Pretty sure. Unless they're talking about maybe they were talking about the majors rather than the invitationals. Oh, they won two majors. Uh, yeah. Isn't the major like bigger? I don't think so. No, no way. Show me you can do it. KDS on Thatcher. He's the intro player walking through a breach. That was the only success that faced the Okay, so they really want to win this. Got a little bit of help behind our force. We've yet to see FaZe being activated as a team, playing closely together. The thing so spread apart right now, that style isn't working. Q2's not even didn't they lose this split here from the phase, right? The Habana of Vidikin investing Util for the map sweep. Souls on the other hard breach roll would now work Geisha handy as well. We'll have Summers and they could be necessary as well later on. Keeping in mind that this is a kitchen defense. For Lee Pops, he's posted up above, holding this for as long as he possibly can, stalling out this attack. Yeah, again for FaZe as well. This time they're kind of combining. Yeah, they got a bit of that Geisha pressure. You want to take that, get that vert advantage. But also sweeping across that we've seen them really clear out off as an exhibition as well. Mind you, Skyscraper is the kind of map, regardless of the site, you can play just about anywhere and defend just about in any way, shape, or form. 90 seconds left in this round already, though. Again, it's so confusing to me to see blue attacking and red defending. Yeah, orange, yeah. orange defending. It's trippy. I wish they switched it, like, to where, like, defense is always blue. They're just very slow at getting through it. Like, but they're alive. They're upright. This is 5v5. This is where FaZe excel. Who will step up to the mark? What? It's KZ. No trade in sight for FaZe, and he holds down the line. The flashbang's now to come through. Oh. And he got one. It doesn't matter. It don't matter. It doesn't matter. But I tell you what, FaZe might be seeing the grave. Still time, 60 seconds, three versus four, and the chance Ooh. again. <laughs> oh boy. Drives that stake through the heart of FaZe. They just cannot find a way safely into this map. Safely into this map. This game. is weird though. I've had so many games where like you just get owned on attack and then defense you just own so hard. Difficult scenario, but you never count. The ca I think the casters were saying that this was a severely defense sided or something. It's really hard to attack. Mm -hmm. Yeah, they kind of like balance it so it's like a little easier to attack. The most part, but is decent, back a defense is always easier. Oh, face chose. Again, yeah, but that means they're really, really, round. really good on defense. Stalwart defense from W7M on the map pick of phase. Strong start halfway through this opening round. This is so unlike FaZe. I said they excel in these 5v5 scenarios. And what happens next? Well, they just walk in. And they don't do it together. Handy on the ace, walks in first, dies. Bitter King on the Ibana in the other room of Terrace swings way later. The dis-sync, the miss, like the disconnect, I guess, essentially, from FaZe. So unlike them. And them calling a tactical timeout, I think this proves the point. Something's not going right. Coming down Why do they have papers on their desk? Probably just for strats. These attacking rounds are key. W7M looking very difficult to take down at the moment. Yeah, they certainly are. I, I think FaZe are more than capable of replicating this though, Nick. I, I certainly feel like this is not a case of W7M uh, are in such a massive advantageous position. To be fair though, they're playing really good Siege. And There's little like, notes that are sometimes pretty hard to remember as a player, so having it all written down isn't bad. Like for example, every player on this server has tendencies, and remembering what those tendencies are can be very difficult. But if you write it down, you can just, you know, during a, a timeout or something, or when you're dead, just kind of read it really quick and be like, oh, okay, yeah. Just reminding myself that this player's tendency is to often go through this door and drone at this time and do this, right? Every player has some sort of tendency that they do, and they just kind of keep it consistent. Like in Counter-Strike, you could, you could know exactly the path that some player is going to take 
every single time because that's just what they're used to doing. You might even know exact the exact time that they're gonna flash. The reason why this is so strong for him, he's the IGL, the in-game leader, the captain for his team. When you play the Monty, you can extend that shield. You can't really die. You can walk around while consciously think, oh, my teammate should be here. Cover this angle. Hey, drone this area. And it gives so much freedom mentally for the leader. But the game will call the shots. He'll lead the charge for his team. Throw him clear. And he'll push it out over the boards. This map clear. We'll see if FaZe can find some success. In the early portions of round number four. Oh it's my god. To hold down the line to keep us in the pocket. Is he going to commit? He does have herds alongside, and we know how two these deadly how deadly these two are, however, they're more than happy to back off and give that space to phase. Yeah, really smart there for W7M. I think they're really good at so far being able to say, okay, we don't really need to challenge too over aggressive in nature. We'll pick our fights. So far, they've done a great job of that through the opening three rounds. My question though here, Nick, is very much Vidiking on that Montaigne. Can he allow them to win these chokehold battles towards drum at the mezzanine and then eventually in towards Team room karaoke? He could be a real big win condition now for FaZe. I think so. I do think that they're playing into the strength now as a team. The one thing we're gonna see, those guns, they're gonna come alive. Handy was a huge organ. He was there on bank. Right now he's 0-3. Whoever's following behind Vidikin on the one team has to hit their shots. Well, the smoke canisters now come into play from Nade. Stalling things out a little bit in combination with the Fender. It's a double peak from the defense. Oh. And Herds, who find the first. The Monte can't protect from that. And now Vidiking under fire. Yeah, I mean, this is not oh. exactly what FaZe wanted to lose that initial battle on the offset. You want to play behind that shield. Get kills from peeking behind it. But it went back the other way. <laughs> in the case, he's just going to reinforce that off. Now the through the doorway. Fortunately, of course, that Montaigne pretty good at doing just that. Still at Nitro Cell as well, available for W7M in the hands of JV92 and Vidiking is very low. Also, mind you, because Henny died, he was a hard job face. Because we enforced that wall, that's one less way in, one less angle for pressure. This favors defense. Vidiking so low, JV92 still with the Nitro. That could be huge for the defense. Final 30 seconds of this fourth round, a crucial one for Faye. Certainly winnable, but not going to be easy. Still will need to dislodge JV92 inside a gay shot. Souls won't go for it, not just yet. Again, down to 20 seconds on the repel. Outside of karaoke. T-Room stacked, double defense. Felipox, good angle, gets rid of the Montag. They're just struggling to find a foothold in towards the site. Kick down over at the stairs. Into red time we go. Oh. The oh. I feel like they need a buffer to help the observers. Feels like I'm watching the kill feed 90% of the time. Yeah, a buffer would be good for sure. We're back to prime WCM where we think where are the gaps? Where are the weaknesses? What should the enemy do? It might be out of sync with the crowd, but maybe that's a good thing. I don't know. Actually, no, it'd be synced up. Kind of. It'd be out of sync to the players then. The player to crowd would be out of sync, but the, the rest would be synced up. Many players, they dream of this opportunity, and they're living in it right now. I think the main issue there for FaZe was that their split pressure, or whatever you want to call it in this current meta, didn't quite work out. It was KDS on the karaoke repel. He gets timed. He gets slain. There's no counter pressure there from the attack to make JV90 to feel like he's under the pump. He's just able to sit there, play around the reinforcement, has perfect view of that push, and he doesn't miss his shots. He closes it out. But you see, this is the issue. Face the first three rounds, they are playing that Then the players will celebrate round win before the crowd sees it. Depends on how big the buffer is, but yeah. Mostly from the same side also doesn't work. So guys, yeah, that's the problem. But what they did before, which was the solution, also did not work. And it leaves you with this wonder with your face. It could only be like a two-second buffer, in which case that's not like... This is hard. Eh, I don't know. It's tough. And the third map of what's turned into a very tantalizing grand final here to close out. A campaign of siege that has seen it reach new heights. The Montang again, brought by Vidiking. Again, into a site where it can be so pivotal 
secondary EMP. You're gonna be able to throw your nades with your shield up now. <laughs> Next season. That'll be fun. We'll do so successfully. I know, so cool. And an entry point can be established now. I like the reloading behind it, throwing and assuming phase are able to get map control, which to be fair is being contested by Felipox. It is again likely gonna come down to the contest oh. through drum. But perhaps that map control will be a little bit easier now. FaZe can lean into the man advantage as handy will find the first kill. Keep an eye on KZ though. This mirror window will make or break the defense. But this is a bit of a phase. They got Monty horizontally, bucked down below vertically, and they're actually making pressure from multiple fours now for the first time. They ring ring. Well. Pick KZ up your phone. 1 minute 30 is excellent. Plenty, full HP. This is the best round for face so far. Shots towards the Montang of Vidiking, trying to make his way in. Still a long way to go. It's not over towards the hallway of Team Roman Karaoke. Of course, it's off in the next vision. Lots of four presses. Oh. 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 Completely unaware phase that they were being watched. Heard okay. Swing, it's a fail. Ambitious. <laughs> For three versus three with 60 seconds left in the round, but we've been in this position before. FaZe have found themselves with a chance late in the round where it looks like it's an even man advantage. And every single time W7M have been able to get over the line. Cyber now to sneak forward. A phenomenal play from KZ who sets oh. the oh. 40 seconds on the clock. Can FaZe respond? KZ can ah, dude. Hold on, hold on. This is not good. One versus one. With a massive round, an attacking round would be so crucial for FaZe. They need it. They desire it. He's gonna will his way against them. Oh. Oh. What a round! It flipped so many times. A huge clutch, but tracking back. What a play from KZ. Yeah. The attack. Vidiking had full eyes on that push, yet he timed it to perfection. Got his team back into the round. Retreated to the shield. Almost got the ace. Did it, but it didn't matter in the end. They needed that round phase. In that moment, one versus one, even a, even a three versus three with under a minute left. That was one of the better opportunities. Yes. That they have had so far in this half. They get to go for kill. You start to think they can get map control. Unfortunately, KZ changes that round. The complexion of it with those footholds, with those angles, falls back towards Dragon. Gets a quad. I mean, what a sensational round from KZ. And with that, it came down to Nay to finish off his good work. W7M up five to nothing. But even still, I can't believe I'm saying this. <laughs> One attacking round could be enough for FaZe. This is how defend the side of this map is. <laughs> yeah, there's this little bit of wiggle room. And that side swap comes through. The issue right now is when you're up against Team Light, WCM, it's not like Casey and Hertz are just the good players that pops up around again. No. Every player, all five, are so capable. We've seen it here so far. Felipox, he's now 7-2. Nade winning in one versus one. That's a round in your pocket in a single kills effort, basically. Phase, yeah, shut down the star player. Well, how about you? You gotta shut down all five. It's an impossible task. Well, we'll see now. Can Phase make the impossible possible? To keep this map alive, they must win a round. It's possible for them to make the comeback on defense. Oh. It's going to be one hell of a challenge, regardless. KZ lit up early. Playing in towards Dragon. It's a bedroom, bathroom defense for the final round of the half. And W7M, as expected, will invest up above. Brazil, one of the only regions that plays this bomb side domestically. We rarely ever see it in the international play. It's been tried by two or three separate teams at this event, and it has a good defensive win rate, I believe. But the issue is, it's hard to attack against it because you don't have a lot of experience. It's that four bombs that you rarely see in practice. We see now WCM, they're changing the strat, going for a fake reinforcement, maybe around here from KC and Hurts, trying to go on the offense. Trying to deny that entry that they've done so well in this half, keep a barrier, but a nice little hole as well on the bottom left side of it from KZ. Mm. Trying to just get to yeah, the hit him. as he demolishes said Kiba Barrier. 90 seconds left in this round. Phase absolutely need to oh. play this. Nay, aggressive oh. though. And on the repel on the vault team from Souls, he is successful. Finds the opening kill again for Phase, but they've been in this position before. Hurts taken out of the picture. And suddenly Phase got a chance. But KZ becomes ever present again. Traded though immediately after he found one kill in a 3 on 2. But Leaf Fox 
brings it back. Faze, are they crumbling again? They very well might. A chance for Filipov, though, no, falls back down below. Surely not a Cirque here. They've taken a gamble Surely. on this side. Surely not. Maybe, though, off? maybe. They've chipped back at the disadvantage. A two versus two. Information should be available. KDS, that could be the drone that wins phase this round. Gotta play together. Try and get that 2v1 scenario because right now plant is not possible. We're gonna drop for a hatch, walk down the staircase together. One flush available, but Warden on the board. Available for W7M. With 30 seconds left, it's the final logic bomb from Handy. Looking to seek down and track the final members. Oh. The drop. It's successful, but regardless, KDS lost his life. Handy got the knock down. JV to one on one oh. against Felipe's left side corner. Oh, Handy! <laughs> He's done it! Finally, at the death of Felipe. On the board. An attacking round has been found in the final round of this half, one to five. And Nick, that could be enough, but they've got so much work to do in the second half. This is where. You really gotta shove up your face. You gotta prove that you are the team right now in the finals. They get the 1v1 because Philippox looked the wrong way, not having that full information. Oh man. Oh, I mean, oh, what a sensational half. Let's go to Jesse and see what his thoughts are from that opening half of Skyscraper. Hello, Xenox. You just said that one attacking round for FaZe Clan may be enough, and I have some stats to think that it just might be. FaZe Clan are playing on Skyscraper now, and they move to defense for this next round. And Skyscraper just happens to be FaZe Clan's strongest defensive map of the entire pool. They have an 80% defensive win rate at, we'll uh, on Skyscraper round. throughout this event. They are flawless defense, defending right? Exhibition Office. They are yeah, it's crazy to hear. Like, hey, oh, one round's all you need, <laughs> but it might, might be the case. Bathroom, we'll see. Only yeah, lost okay. tea room and karaoke a single time through this event. For me, a big reason for their defensive success has been KDS. He loves roaming on the bottom floor. He loves playing these C4 operators like Capcan, like Mozzie, whatever he can get his hands on. That's going to be the player to watch out for my mind. And although this looks like a tough match for them, watch out and don't. Do you think a seed streamer yet. becoming the biggest streamer in the world is like the most random thing ever? Thank you, Jason. Um, okay. He's gone. <laughs> I mean, a very good point. I don't know. I want to say yes, but at the same time, I don't know how big Siege is in console, right? Siege could just be massive in console, and we just didn't know it because we're all mouse and keyboard players, right? So if you think about it that way, then it's not that random, right? Then it's a lot of map points that need to be overcome. So for W7M, pressure off momentarily here. They've got a couple of rounds, they get a free punch. For FaZe though, they have to be perfect. They gotta be perfect, you're right. I mean, they can make one mistake, but that's, you know, as close as it gets here. No, well, wait, perfect. How about the first opening kill? If you want to lift the hammer, you have to be resilient. There are going to be Your times in the grand final like where you need to fight PC from behind. Yeah. I mean, the stats are one thing, but if you're a player in the <laughs> That's a good question. Any console seizures here? You like watching PC? Or no? Can't be looking at that score. Oh. They watch Pro, that's PC, but like, would you watch PC kill. TikTok? Is it down onto net? No, he's still alive. That's just oh. down. A little bit of a prone moment here. Herds can't find this kill, no one can. Little low health members inside of the server as Souls compounds here. Cyber was able to stay alive by the barest of margins. Inside of Exhibition and Philippe Box is down. Suddenly the round falling apart for W7M. Very early on in the piece, still with 90 seconds. JP falls. Talk about an opening statement. To begin this Jesus. second half for FaZe Clan. It's Herds outside. Arthur Attacking's that hard, huh? One versus five. Zenox, I think you called this one very early on in round number two. Oh. Defense is king. That's one kill for Hertz. The health bar not looking so good. You got Goomans in your path. Frostbats as well. C4 is below. You got a minute, but maybe you got to talk things through here with a small, like, tactical timeout, perhaps. Oh, looks like Hertz. Holy. Holy. A snappy second. Oh oh. But Cyber what a shot. Spawns. And FaZe could cook up something special here on defense. Yeah, I think typically I'd agree with you there, Nick. I, I think you, in that moment, probably want to take a bit of a technical timeout, as you said, where you could kind of just sit outside. You got a minute 20. You're not yeah, going to win on one through. versus five. Very unlikely. But it's an SI Grand Final. You've <laughs> got to go for it in that moment. He gets Aren't they allowing crossplay next year? I think happen. they are. Or this that year, I guess. A differentiating round for the With PC and and for it, I'm pretty sure they're, they're going to start crossplay. He at least tried. Two to five. Oh. Plays answer strongly to they begin are? their defense. Oh my God. And it really Doesn't does that seem unfair? 
They have already emulated. I don't know. It depends. They might do it on quick play or something. I don't know. The entries at these windows at these entry points. Oh, only console can't. Oh, OK, that's not bad. So that's console choosing to play with PC. If they want to do that. Yeah, like if it's their choice, if they're opting in to play PC, I mean, like whatever, I guess. We might think support player, SMG11, Harpreet, whatever. This man is putting up a clinic. He is fighting on the entries, denying them, finding kill after kill. Not your typical support player, but the guy that you need. And it might be some recency bias so, from would that mean that they're opting in the play in, like, PC as as cheater lobbies? Oh, yeah. Seen so far. A oh, yeah. Projection of any that's bad out here. And that's exactly oh, yeah. The game plan on a map like Skyscraper. So very positive signs from FaZe. I mean, they understand the map, right? They picked it. They wanted to go here. They knew if they can just survive for long enough on attack, get that one or two rounds, that's all they need. They almost got two. Only managed to get the one. And now we see that flexibility. Frost, Arun, Leash, Mute, all of a sudden, FaZe, they're throwing everything at the wall right now, and it's probably all gonna work. Very trap heavy. Very, very trap heavy. So W7M will need to proceed with caution and ensure that they have a time buffer late in the round as well. So, we're headed to this eighth round. Good start from FaZe. What can they bring in terms of another chance over towards Office and Exhibition? They need to keep this momentum going for as long as possible to deny W7M any kind of chance of map point for all as long as possible. For late box with the exothermic charge. Suddenly phase, if they win a couple of rounds, yes, defender sided, but also the momentum could swim back into their favor. Right now though, for W7M, certainly no real pressure. All it takes is a couple of maybe lucky shots clear out a good position, get the opening two kills, and then look to overwhelm that defense. I was going to say, I want to look at Hertz here in KC, see if they can find those opening, find those gaps. Nate's like some cool mine damage here, but that's not really a big problem. Big question is, is the drone into there? Oh! Ooh. The shotgun from Vidic, got the staircase, Freaking it's smoked. huge! Yeah, and the oh, yeah. drone as well. Oh my god, double yeah. smoke! Despite the drone from W7M, nice they shots. clear these positions. Damn, oh, they defense is king, huh? Phase, right in their faces! Despite the fact it's offers an exhibition, it's game shot, it's tier of karaoke. And it's a very strong phase defense to begin this second half. The numbers have so far backed up the story of this very map. It is so excruciatingly Jeez. difficult to attack. That's crazy. Good to know. Yeah, so when we lose on defense when we play this map, it's us. <laughs> it's definitely <laughs> us. It's <laughs> FaZe yeah. are cooking on defense, <laughs> and despite W7M getting marginally more map control, if you even want to call it that, they were immediately shut down. Now, perhaps the live drone there, the timing was a little bit off before they confirmed the position on that 0.5 main stairs. However, the execution from FaZe was phenomenal. They are looking rock solid on defense, and I tell you what, Nick, if they win this it's interesting to not see anybody like really roaming on the first floor because like whenever i play this map i roam the first floor but now i'm starting to think that's a terrible idea that both teams on attack are trying to play a normal fair standard round of siege yeah i wonder what it is about this ain't working. Is it that site? Let's just do something crazy go for a rush you know we're talking blitz we're talking live we're talking in your face gameplay Ying is banned out, so those flashbangs won't go out there and enable you on the entries, but there are other Maybe it's just so hard to attack anyway that, like, team being a roamer can just get a free style, pick anyway. But also not a team finding any like really if we all sit on site, so maybe it's just, like, really hard with five the people on site. Round. From a 5 nothing start for W7M, it's FaZe that have won the last three. And suddenly, the shape of this map changes with every single passing round. The pressure probably still with phase momentarily but that will change the more defensive rounds that they continue to find w7m i wonder what a rush strat looks like in this game to maybe go for like a tilt like just run in <laughs> outside of the map entry yeah. at least just get a foothold i think we're gonna see it more right now, um, next side, season with the, the, the shields being able to like one punch the, the windows i will say they have four grenades because they can just fly in and like so be the lead or whatever yeah shield yeah like blitz can just like boom jump in flash everybody have like a montane come in if a nade gets tucked in uncooked it will force him to move out of that position you can act upon that and if you see the nades on KC, the gridlock, it's there. Nade with a follow-up, wall gets open, they clearly want KC control. Eyes on Handy. He's looking to lock down Geisha, a Nitro in hand. This is a key position 
for him to lock down. Eyes is well on herds. I always think about how funny the politics of playing professionally is. Like when you're scrimming and stuff, like you try not to scrim against the team that you know you're going to play up against in the tournament, but that doesn't mean you can't talk to your other team friends and see what they have to say. So there's like sometimes there's like politics and drama in the sense of like you might not want to play with this team because they're friends with the team that you're going to play in group stage. <laughs> Oh. It's interesting. That's weird. Yeah. Be, like, really Do you find like in this game scrimming against the team that you have to play would be like really bad, or could it be helpful to know what they do? It's always helpful to know. So they're going to have to play reactive. Play off one another. This is going to be a tall task for the attack. But it's JV and KC. If a duo could do it, yeah, sure, maybe hurts. But this is a, like a live JV round. They could still win it. So 40 seconds, two versus three, an opportunity to get a couple of map points here on Skyscraper. The map picker phase. KV, KZ makes his way in. Still with a bit of a JV will eventually have to drop and go for the plant and time the biggest factor. Needs to of course get Wait, that plant they're really brothers? within the remaining time. Yeah. FaZe have got themselves so many good positions, so many cross sites, Aww. and they immediately deny entry through delivery. JV's by himself. What can he realistically expect to do? Straight the to the group Twinsies. with 10 seconds and a goo that needs oh, to be noticed. taken out and do so with a kit in hand. This is one of the more difficult positions you can find yourself in. <laughs> the last That's pretty cool. Run out of time. That's and probably really weird for the parents of here there. as FaZe are beginning a comeback on Skyscraper. <laughs> so it doesn't matter five. And again, defense proving to be so strong on this map. There's also a replay system so you can watch scrims back from your opponent's POV. It's Interesting. It's hard to take map control, but then you get to bomb side. There's Valcam spotting you, bulletproof cameras. Defenders can rotate around. The drone intel from the attack absolutely shot down. No drones to work with whatsoever. I mean, we can see the operators. You guys can't just yet. I was gonna say, what is the answer gonna be? Well, Belly Box right now is hovering Monty. Of course, it can change. Ooh. Three plays right here. Great shots. We saw that as well from FaZe. They opted to send Vidikick onto the Monty. Please turn his team. Get these entries, the They're going to have what Valorant the has next season, I'm pretty sure. The two teams. With the Premier the stuff. Side. They'll have, oh, like, right. the cool. Rainbow they Six Cup or something. The problem is the integrity of it. Like, how are they going to... Like, Valorant has really good anti-cheat. Yeah, but the, they're supposedly updating their anti-cheat with some crazy stuff. So we'll see if that actually works. That's true. That's true. A little bit startled at the moment. Understandably so. A perfect. Oh, it's in season three. Uh, that's pretty late then. So daunting for any attack. That'll be towards like almost next year, I guess. Yeah. Mm -hmm. I like it though, right? Because like change is good here. If it ain't working, don't keep forcing the problem. Yeah. <laughs> Double first on the staircase, okay? Oh, you you gotta be careful on the mud. I uh, do. I mean. The shield change isn't in just yet. You can't no, keep your left and right. Really got to make sure that he's I mean, they still have a way better anti-cheat than Ubisoft. He wasn't really in your face yeah, not a lot of people have external anti-cheat, or not a lot of people have external cheats. They're still pretty pricey right now. I mean, they're getting a little less pricey, I guess, but... You don't really care to stop the people who are going to spend thousands of dollars a month on cheats, because that's impossible. You just want to stop the people that could just load up and cheat normally like just a quick google search those are the people you want to stop shooting how do you know i mean he played cs forever of course he knows that i mean i'm just you just play you just play games and you know yeah i also i also like to follow anti-cheats and cheats at the same time to see how they develop the fight is interesting I think the cheaters will lose in the long run, but yeah. it's that's the long run. Long. That's the long. That's the long run. This is kind of boring to just see it be so one-sided on defense. Yeah. I don't even really care to watch. I'm just expecting them to win every round. Yeah. And W7 um, cooked something up here. It's the two best players on the team, but a very tall task ahead. Russian mounting. 
not really in this round because it's a two on five now one but pressure mounting in the map itself as phase are about to make it five rounds in a row in response to the did jinx start rounds, the soul thing because i never defense. heard that Heard until pick. him or is it just like a... no a lot of people have said that but oh okay yeah has that been around for like a long time? Yeah. Like five or six rounds ago. Oh. What do you do? Both teams, same struggle. Unable to find the solution to the problems. And now it's 5-5. Five, five. It's literally just like a best of three in round three. Zoomer lingo. Yeah. The difference is, FaZe did find the solution. In that final yeah, round of the half. I don't half, know it. As we said, how pivotal that My lingo was usually tossed. Oh, instead of like, so, oh, I see. So yeah, my, to to yeah, yeah, like tossed and sold is kind of the same thing. Just like throwing, you know. Yeah. Who are you feeling right now? I don't know. Skyscraper has ruined my vibe. It's ruined my vibe, man. I don't know. I want to go next map. I don't even care about this map anymore. Somebody win and let's go next. Yeah, I was excited and now I didn't realize it was so defense side. This is crazy. Yeah, like fighting back and forth across heavily the on both sides. Sides. away from the Montank does didn't yeah. work and it didn't really work all that much for FaZe either. So honestly, yeah. I think they made the right choice. Bravo brought into play. So we'll see if KBZ on these clutch drones can have an impact. Default camera dealt with bottom house stairs. Other pieces of util though, still standing like the Fenrir mines. Unfortunately though, the first clutch is taken down by FaZe. And these rounds are pivotal. Why? Because you've just called a tactical timeout statistically and we have the data. You do have a higher chance yes. of winning around off the back of a tactical timeout. So whatever was said for W7M, this really does kind of feel like a almost last chance. You lose this round, FaZe have then got map point. It becomes so much more difficult, so much more pressure. The issue is, and Gus said it, when you win your three full bumps at rotation, bomb. it's perfect for defense, right? You'll go through it feeling good, feeling confident. JV down below, finding a lot of intel here, shutting some of it down. Nate Uncooked has to land on that shelf perfectly. I believe it does. Takes down the blue roof camera. So again, intel being denied. Face, they need this intel. So good priority system here from W7M. It's a triple repel from W7M focused around this breach. And it's Cyber to contest. Oh, he's peeking. Uh, How aggressive will he get? Nade has the perfect read, but will reposition Bolt now in hand. But it's also just perceived pressure, right? It kind of slows naturally down. W7M, there's the swing. You've got to be ready. That's kind of the issue, and that's what Cyber's really doing. It's not so much about finding a kill as more so keeping W7M on their toes. That is it. Every second matters right now. And Smokes have been utilized to get the breach opened up. Impact on Cyber went out. It was not successful. Wall is open, but it costs so much utility. The, the one big saving grace, though, Hurts is on Bog, JV on the IQ. They can do damage from below and they of course you see him he's gonna lead the charge here when we see the fire when we see the smoke that's gonna be attack going for their play can w7m pull off this set play nade he has the key pieces of utility hurt oh. the key position down below oh. tested by Vinner King, oh. who wins it out again on the front foot for phase constantly moving around the map ready to swing ready to take that contact and they get themselves the opening kill with 50 seconds left into the round it becomes a little bit more difficult and testing now for w7m off the back of that tactical timeout kz entry gets rid of the prop map and it's Guman, and he's just getting lit up as well player in the doorway, hits a headshot but unfortunately he's losing team oh. and a shot from nade so pivotal the f not mine obscuring the vision momentarily but now dissipates and they can get the plan the smoke is out souls is low but he can't find the oh, 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 he the he trade there's the plan from nade yeah. outside of the balcony yes. he's playing the rappel he's got the, the plan down he, he can play it from down below Ooh. no <laughs> but it's a success of the fame oh my god all right that's huge yeah One of the scrappier rounds that we've seen so Clinical siege has been played, but in that moment, it just comes down to who can clutch up. It's gotta be feel so Phase good to be on that heater on defense. The chaos was there for the attack. I think chaos is needed. Keep facing like the blind spot, not knowing what's going on exactly, but also great shots throughout that round for all the way through both bomb sides. We got we got a bathroom and bedroom again. <laughs> oh. All right. I mean, after that double jump out, who by himself? Exactly. Space, the confidence is absolutely flowing for these guys at the moment. 6 5, map point for FaZe. You win this round. You are one map away from Hello. taking on the hammer. 
Hello. That's what we've seen from FaZe, so successful. Not really even just in Skyscraper, but really the series. And I love the play, the double swing. There was only one win condition there for FaZe. They had to go together, shoulder to shoulder. And boy, did they make it a successful save. Yeah, I mean, the impressive part is indeed... They can't look! <laughs> they can't look! <laughs> oh, no! I oh, think yeah, the double cross map. They blended. In this map point yeah. Down. Infinite it was a nice little hot tub <laughs> until you get caught in a freaking bear trap. Final round of the opening half of phase to get their one and only map, uh, one and only round, I should say. The W7M now need to emulate that. I know you've already seen it, Nick, but look to the right hand side of screen. The Blitz is being brought out yeah. there as a Hail Mary play for W7M trying to extend this all Wait, the, the colors change. This shows confidence and belief in your team and your system saying, hey, right? we're down on max point. We're well, no, so FaZe is always blue. They just flipped the defense and the attack on. logo, like, like the icons, I think like it the names. Might even work, but again, the early but do you see next to FaZe, there's a defender so yeah. icon? Well, again, so they were blue earlier, but they were on attack. So they just like flipped the icons. Perhaps now a little bit more effective for W7M. Wait, what? To the maestro. These evil eyes can now feed Wait, so they don't change they don't change the colors, they just give one team a certain color and that's that? Yeah, so Faith has been blue the whole entire game. Oh. But when they were attacking, the, the attack icon was next to Faith. Oh, they should absolutely swap the colors. I know, that's what I'm saying. Defense that's, should always just be blue. That's weird. It's like it's confusing to watch. That is very confusing, yeah. I didn't know that. I had to keep looking up. Yeah, that's that. Yeah, that is that is really confusing. They should absolutely change the colors. Yeah, it's weird. This is like, I don't even know who's gonna win this. Probably FaZe. Mike, you should host some stuff like that. You should do a talent show. No way. My, my, dude, my community has no talent. Are you kidding me? Oh. <laughs> Sorry. Bro? What's your talent, chat? You guys have any secret superpowers, any secret talent? Let's hear it. You could say nothing if you don't have any. It's just gonna be a wall of nothing. Nothing. Landscaping? Okay, nothing. Gambling? See, my chat's got no talent. Unlucky. But they're working. What? Wait, that's cool. I mean, that is cool. Just random. Oh, with Ed. Rod. This is what I'm talking about. We're brawling. Oh yeah. None of that skyscraper crap. Get that out of here. How's your scooter, huh? Oh, that I threw that stuff away. Those days are behind me. Those are dangerous times. We don't bring those up anymore. We don't bring those times up. 
Maybe teams will gotta get back into it. Warm back up. No, 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 no. Off the rip. Less than 60 seconds in. Kills are happening, but it's so one-sided. If you watch w 7 m take on Virtus Pro on border, you know that this is exactly how that series ended in max overtime with WCM storming through the building without a care in the you world. You ever think about what would have happened if you didn't fall off your scooter? <laughs> and I mean, not my life didn't really change, to be honest. All that happened was, was I hit 100k subs on Apex, I broke my arm, and then I came back like three days later. That, that was pretty much it. Not much changed. I lost a little bit of mobility, like I can't touch my shoulder. But yeah, that's what do you need to... What do you need that for? We all know how that one ended. Perhaps there's another coming. I mean, if we're breaking records, let's break some more, right? Let's make it happen again. W7M, again, very quick to the punch. 30 seconds. EMP, Selma charge from opening up that mirror window, shutting down Face's structure. Where what they care about, that's been taken away from them. Oh, okay. So just over two minutes on the clock then, and herds will continue. He's in March. I broke my arm in three different places, I can still touch my shoulder. Well, I broke my elbow. A little different. I didn't just like break my like arm. Drone work good from Hertz. Lots of information. In this upward hole over towards armory. KDS wanting to get aggressive over towards that desk position. And locked in on the back side of that particular area. I have like, uh, I have a couple plates in my elbow and like three or four screws or so. Or maybe five screws, I don't know. Oh, just hitting bars. How much was it to fix it? I don't know. I didn't have health care, so or insurance or whatever. So it was like thirty grand or something crazy. It was a lot. I have insurance now though. Just didn't have it at that time. Just fly to Canada? Nah, they'd make it worse. Canada healthcare is trash, bro. Absolute trash. You might as well not get yourself fucking fixed up if you go... Like, that's, dude, sass. I would rather pay 30 grand. Especially, if, even if I didn't have 30 grand, I'd rather somehow find a way and be in debt for the rest of my life than to go to Canada and go free. It's terrible there. It's absolutely terrible. Some of the worst fucking healthcare ever. It's the... I, I don't even know if those doctors are trained. I'll say it. I don't think they went to school. It is incredible to watch what kind of team performance w can put up when they're on a map that they're familiar with, that they love, that they thrive on. When they first came to the tier one space, they revolutionized... Aren't you Canadian? Yeah. If you're from Canada, you know. All the other people that aren't from Canada are like, huh? Question mark, question mark, question mark. If you're from Canada, you know. <laughs> you know. That's all. What do you think about that? Is it too early? No, I am the biggest fanboy of early timeouts. Get ahead of the problem. Yeah, sure. Attack are favored. We're expecting W7 to win maybe four or five attacking rounds, but that doesn't mean that they should. It doesn't mean you should allow them. And also, mentally, if you're a coach and you feel, guys, we're playing a little bit passive here, scared of losing that hammer, right? Because you're one map away. Yeah, I mean, you say it's like side, but it's not really. It's technically still in favor of the defense. It just statistically, it just leans itself to be a little bit more favorable for the attackers in comparison to say it's... Oh, the whiff. Oh, he still got him, though. In terms of what we expect, really, W7M, two attacking rounds already early on, is so far already quite significant and puts the pressure on phase. Nighthaven Labs... <laughs> yeah, if I was in Canada, I'd still be waiting. <laughs> I, my arm still wouldn't be fixed. It would have just healed itself for sure. <laughs> and then once it gets done, my arm would be put on backwards probably.
When WCM played BP on this exact map that ended in max overtime, 8-7 in favor of WCM, it was a tight half, 3-3. I'm not saying that should be the expectations here, but it means that both defense and attack are equally positioned and these when WCM are involved. It comes down to execution. Just play inverted. Oh my god, could you imagine you throw the dagger at that person's head to kill him? Is it doable? I don't think so. Pull off the impossible. 40 seconds, one close right, tucked in, prone. Does he clear it? Nate, full white on his own flash. No response initially from Souls. Now he gets up. Position known from Nate. Goes prone. The vault over. It's clean. That was a very low HP. Souls and so is Vidiking. Still time. Kit in hand as well. It's something. The Goo Mine stepped off momentarily, dislodges his position. Two impacts from Vidiking. And look who's still alive on the other side. It's his brother. Oh. Oh? No way. Oh my god. I did not expect that at all. I feel like they threw that. I mean, obviously, to, to lose a 1v3, the three has to throw, right? Or the one played it very well. No, it's never that case, by the way. It's never it's never the case in any video game, 1v3s, 1v4s, 1v whatever. It's never the case of the one person playing well. It's always the case of the three or the two playing it wrong. It's just, that's just the way it works. Welcome to team games. You know? I mean, it can be both, I guess, but usually it's the numbers advantage just failing hard, making bad play after bad play after bad play. Or five attacking rounds here could be lethal for FaZe. That's exactly it. 
Face Clan, you know, not playing bad in these rounds, not at all. I mean, they won the last one, technically speaking, but then they didn't. They're holding that same thing, but Hurt looking to advance. Candela's flying in, but we see the silhouettes. Face, they've left the area. They don't want to take this fight. I mean, do you blame yeah, them? Who would want to take on I this fight? Either. You have to be very confident. It's KZ now, dueling with Fitter King inside a fountain. Fitter King exposing his elbow, keys to hold down the line. With the <laughs> Oh my god. Just freaking swing, man. If you're trying to fight it, swing. One go wide, one go tight. Thoughts? I don't know. Maybe that doesn't work in Siege. It works in CS, though. I wish I was good at this game. I just want to own. I want to play every game and just own. But then I play and I get owned. <laughs> and it sucks. A lot. It actually sucks getting owned. I hate it. Go to console? Yeah, I can go to console and Zim. That sounds fun. That big question in grand finals for Brazil on home turf. They would fall to European teams every single time. What better way to ensure the hammer than a double Brazil matchup, right? The fans will be happy either way. The other thing to remember as well for Tommy 7 m they played yesterday. They did in a grueling best of three. Where it went all the way. And obviously now still have enough reserves left in the tank to try and send this one, the best one, and the biggest one, all the way. Three more rounds required to send us to a fifth map. They were knocked out in round one of the upper bracket. This would be a remarkable bounce back. back. A remarkable Oh, response. boy. Philippe Oxford fall. Needed to phase are just trying to keep their head above water again. But they have to oh. back themselves in the map phase on the defense. You cannot shy away. You fall back on a map like border. You give them map control, and that's something you do not want to allow. Oh, and then push first. Got traded, got the kill. Four versus three. Still just a one player advantage for phase. You walk straight to the key bar, right in the timing. So the thought, there's no way he's going to be there. But again, the trade is there from FaZe. Cyber might be dead, but he's been so good at denying those early engagements on defense so far. It's a worthy trade-off, though. Felibox hurts them in the grave. That's what Flores and Ace, they don't have all that much strong utility to win this round for their team. Right now, though, still alive for W7M. That's the key fragger in KZ. 10 and 2, and also the clutch god himself in Nade 5 and 1. With JV there for support. Still over 90 seconds left. KDS. I wanna, I wanna see labs. <laughs> I'm kind of curious. I'm bad at that map. Yeah, that'll be interesting. W7 momentarily could be in their favor, but overall, it is still with phase. Shot through the window. Flash goes out. KDS feeling the pressure, the pinch. Despite the fact there's still so much time, full white. But no shots to come through successfully only from Handy. And again, we continue this trade game. Down to Nade in a one versus three. And I've seen this story before for the kit in hand. Surely he doesn't win again, right? This script has already no been written. Surely he doesn't win again. again. No way. Nade should not be able to break this cross. You lose this round. You are not coming back. I need to set up some sort of Nade. With belief in his heart, he spots one on the shoulder peak. That's the one. Ow. Wing handy! What a cheeky, cheeky brother! What a cheeky moment, and what a round for FaZe needed it desperately. That they did. I wish these streams were 4K 120 instead of 1080 60. Yeah, eventually. We're getting there slowly. Twitch is a little bit behind. I'm not gonna stop swinging. I'm not gonna stop taking that map control. I'm not gonna stop fighting for the ground that should be ours for a little bit longer. He finds Philippox early and he gets. That'll cost so much money. Oh, yeah. 
and that put his team in the well, it's a matter of finding out how to do it cheaper right well, now, they finally which is what they're trying to do with the AV1 encoding and putting it on the putting it on the streamer rather than the the website to cheer their team forward onto a second defensive round. We look back at the replay package, and you can see there from FaZe, formidable, not backing down without a fight. Striking similarities a little to Skyscraper here, slowly maybe forming with that round win for FaZe. You think maybe. back to Skyscraper, 5 nothing start, W7M, and then a very crucial final round in that half. Well, it does have a sense of deja vu that for FaZe, that becomes a very crucial round. Can they double down? find a second and suddenly the script starts to flip back a little bit massive round coming up for w7m i mean a massive decision here by phase we're going to customs for their final oh, defense oh my this is a bomber side that Not even enough. way back in the day if we play once in a blue moon usually it'll be a troll so pick serious. there's no one that's legit but this is a grand finals no one's told it here it's only been played so far nine times this six invitational it actually has the best attacking win rate cyber though gets the opening kill on the jv92 takes out one of the two hard breaches that w7m have brought to the round great start phase and clearly understanding what they need to do in this round there it is again cyber world-class player right always putting off that fight never backing down and again WCM slowing things down lost one half reacher still got another hurt though KZ is probing he's fallen off that heater just a touch from the start but still 10 kills in five rounds not to be understated a mighty effort to be fair now he's playing Flores and Brava right yeah. if he's entering give him entry Reloading. operators make him shine because right now you're slowing yourself down by making him the guy on drones I don't get that now they're gonna fight from behind without that entry power yeah four versus five and it's cyber to lock down that position for a second oh, more. oh he was going for more oh 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 Oh, no. How crucial of a moment could that be in this grand final? Momentary <laughs> mistake. And now up to phase to punish it. All you can do there is say, sorry, apologize. That was not intentional. Going for the pre-fire. thinking there was a player there. But unfortunately, Nate walks in front. Billy Box, shotgun in hand, making a rotate. Hurts. There's a player in security. He has no idea. KDS. Just has to hold this angle and wins nope. it out. Oh, that's going to be the wrap for phase. Two in a row. Sorry for Lee Box, but the dream is not going to come through. FaZe have responded to close that half when it looked for all intents and purposes to be W7M's moment. And suddenly, oh, just suddenly, that grip on the hammer for FaZe starts to tighten. Super clean defensively there, particularly on entry from FaZe. They aggress, they mixed it up. Let's go and have a listen to Jesse and his thoughts here on the first half of Border. Coach is wearing Yeezys. I've seen them. I've seen them. The I don't know if they're fake or not, but I've seen them. We're watching Border right now, and in fact, we're watching Cyber play Border. He's been heating up the last couple of rounds, and his favorite operator on this map happens to be the Blackbeard. He's picked it 50% of the rounds that he's played on Border through the Six Invitational. He loves to play it around the security window to try to get players out of that tough spot. He'll play it front door sometimes. He really enjoys this operator. How much are Yeezys? That's a great question. I don't know. With all the Kanye... Although Cyber's been doing better, things <laughs> to close this out and to push it to a with, with everything that's going on over there, I'm not sure. I feel like they're probably worth nothing now. Do you believe that Cyber is right now one of the best players to do it? I absolutely oh, believe it. He's never mind. For a reason, and he's gonna lead his team to a At some point, I swear to God, people were just giving their Yeezys away. They were just throwing them away. They're like, get this shit out of here. Three rounds away for W7M. Send us to the fifth and final map, which would be Night Haven. Are you still like Faze, worth nothing? I don't know. I don't think so. It sounds like they're bouncing back. It sounds like they're a couple hundred, 300, 200, 200, 200, 300. I don't know. Pretty normal, right? Nah. Yeah. Just relax a little bit. Usually more money than that. I think it depends on the easy. Oh, yeah, of course. Yeah. 
Speaking of refs, it's been a very long event and lower bracket for Dorisum them. They have played 27 maps going into this grand finals compared to phase on 19. An eight map difference between them speaks to the energy required and spent by one team, yet they're still here fighting map number four, trying to get there to that fifth map to have an even best of one for the hammer. The entire crowd is lit up. You guys can't see it at home. Maybe you can actually through the player cam. I hate when ugly shoes are expensive. What, like Balenciagos or something? God, Balenciagos are... I... I don't know how people wear those. And they must be comfortable. They have to be comfortable, because they do not look good. Armory and Archives, a very strong sight. Can they find a way to maybe put a dent into this ever-present momentum that phase is slowly building? Cyber was the main guy for phase on the defensive side. You want any designer stuff? Um, I have a pair of Louis Vuitton shoes, and my wallet is Louis Vuitton. So, look out, world. That's about it, though. Hasn't been disrupted a lot by W7M. You think back to the last two rounds, when FaZe aggress, they get the opening pick. The attack fell apart. So for FaZe at the moment, they're doing Andy. a good job. And Handy has aggressed. Oh, oh dear. Again. No! Go oh. through the goalway. Nade again. It's like it's written in the stars. Stops that little push that Handy was trying to create in towards archives. And it keeps that position held strong. Now, for the side of W7M. What is happening? The Observer's trying to keep up, and they can't watch all these fights. They can't watch yeah, all these fights at all. Slowly still the advantage in their favor. KDS top waiting tries to find a long angle. And Hertz still has a hold in security, so he should be good here to shut this down. Hertz to try and stop the last two players. Oh, oh the head was there. It could have been taken. Instead, though, it wasn't. And now Hertz repays the favor by shutting down KDS. And they now know where Souls is located. <laughs> Seconds though, and not much else. Can Souls pull off another miraculous clutch in this map? Well, there's no time. There's no time. Ten seconds left. He picks up the kit. They're both holding sight. They have the angles. No way in which he should be able to win this. Not from this position. W7M defying the fifth round. They will get it. We will get it. And this crowd is getting exactly. He's got designer furniture though. Yeah, I have one designer furniture, one piece. That I don't sit on. Mighty close in that round, but they know the close is not good enough. Cyber spinning down the long corridor, looking for the right moment, but Philly Park swings out first. He sees it. Guys, not one piece the anime, guys. The one piece is not real. Handy found himself on the bottom side out of nowhere. Not real. Somehow, some way, Nate. He has a tingling feeling. Something is not quite right. Turns around and finds that kill. And don't forget, Baze, they took that time out very early on. They I think did, after yeah. three rounds. So they don't have that. That's not in the back pocket anymore. And now you find yourself three rounds Ooh. down. Five to two. Moments were certainly there for Baze, but ultimately W7M better in the later portion of that round. And now, just two rounds away. Do you want your anime? No. I used to when I was younger. The, I've only watched a handful of animes, though. Like, probably less than 10. Probably less than 10. Like, from start to finish, that I'm talking about. I've obviously watched a lot more animes, but I've only ever watched from start to finish probably like 10. There's such a new organization, a new name to the seed space in tier one, but they've done really well. We got the likes of FaZe, Liquid, Which ones? Blows, uh, been at this for more Black Lagoon, Gurren Lagann, What's it gonna be like? Um, Who do you think is more Inuyasha. It's the new boys. WCMM, they have been trendsetting. I want to say Dragon Ball Z, but like, there's so much going on with Dragon Ball Z that I, I, I'm more so talking about just Dragon Ball Z, not talking about like, Dragon Ball Kai or Dragon Ball or all the spin-offs that they have. Um, kill a kill. They're looking for the third. They're looking now for two more rounds to send us to Nighthaven Labs. Handy again. Oh, Will it work out? Oh, no. He gets by. Momentarily still alive. Oh, again. The second round in a row. He goes for the lurk push. And the second round in a row. That's pretty much 
That's pretty much it. <laughs> I think. Maybe there's a few more. Oh, um. Ah. Um. Uh, Full Metal Alchemist. And there's one more. Um. Brotherhood, yeah, Brotherhood. Uh, I, I mean, I've seen like random stuff like Claymore and like, uh, like, uh, was it Helsing? Um, that's it. I think I'm out. I think I'm out of gas. I can't remember anything else. I think I'm done. That's it. I don't think I got anything else in there. 45 seconds. Inside of workshop souls alongside two nades in the pocket. Can these That's what I said. About ten. About ten is what I've watched. That's it. Control. Something to consider the long portion of this round. With 30 seconds left, KC gets a very critical kill. W7M now advantageous. Vidiking through lobby. Back and forth they go. He finds oh. the kill. Opens up sight. He's got kit. And now on sight itself, it's nade. He's oh. been so good at the clock. This is no support player. He is the clutch king of the moment. Cyber with a pistol. Oh, they've done it. Three pops has done it. And W7M now find themselves. So all of the original anime is not the new anime. So that's what I said. I, I only watched anime when I was younger. I didn't watch. I don't. I haven't watched anime. The last anime I watched was Cyberpunk Edge Runners, and that shit was terrible. And then besides that. We watched like Castlevania on Netflix or something, which was actually pretty good. Um, and that's uh, that's it. That's it. If you feel like the only thing you can do is to contribute to a round of siege, watch that back, please. Nade barely moved the entire round, yet they found three kills. Oh, does Arcane count? We watched Arcane. I guess that counts. Arcane was chill. Handy being that pillar in the middle of his team, working around together. Handy being shot down two rounds in a row, the exact same spot. I love this match. I love this game. I love this crowd. And boy, are we just so fortunate. Six to two, four map points for W7M. Nighthaven Labs. Why do you say it was terrible? Oh, it was too anime. Edge, Runner, Edge Runners was too anime. I didn't like it. It was. It didn't feel grounded. It was way too like, hey, I'm the main character and I can't be stopped. Look at me. Uh, anime. Woo! You know, it just felt like I was a kid again. It felt like I was watching animes that I was a kid again, where it was just like that main character syndrome. I don't know. I didn't like it. I didn't like it. I didn't think it was very good. It was so, it was like, so, like, I don't know, cliche? I don't know. It was just, like, so generic. Blech. That's all anime. I know. That's why I don't watch anime anymore. That's what I'm saying. A lot of anime is that, and I hate it. I hate that anime. I hate it. So I didn't like Edge Runners. Dude, he almost caught a stray. Oh, maybe he was actually at Fountain. Contested over what's 90. It's KZ on Solus, oh. and he gets caught off guard. Side has found himself bot metal. This fight opened up as well. And a very sneaky push from Cyber because he obviously had to run past the site itself to go up towards. So he never finished it. No, I never finished it. I think I got through like four or five episodes. Both me and Hannah. I mean, I would have kept watching it if Hannah liked it, but both me and Hannah did not enjoy it, so we turned it off. It's fine if one of us doesn't enjoy it and the other does, because then we could continue watching it and power through it. But if we both don't enjoy something, we're not going to watch it. Oh. That's why you didn't like, like it? Bro, you can't say that. It's a bad show if you think you don't like it because you needed to watch the end. You know what that is? A bad show. <laughs> that is an example of a bad show. Just like a bad game. If you have to play 10 hours of a game for it to get good, that is a bad game. Oh! 
Mama. Like Starfield, yeah. Starfield, they fucked up. They fucked up on the experience for new players. They absolutely fucked up. That was a good game, but hidden behind 10 hours of gameplay because people couldn't find the good gameplay. That was bad. They fucked up. You can tell how much both teams and both players in the one they want that. Yeah, if you can't get into a TV show in the first few episodes, that's the fault of the TV show, or you just obviously not liking whatever the TV show is giving you. That's fine. You move on. It doesn't really matter. You give it a few episodes and then you move on. Or if you love it, you keep going. Like, for example, Ozark is a great example. Ozark, the first episode of Ozark is terrible. I thought, what the fuck are we watching when I started that show? And then you watch the second, and then you watch the third, and then you're fucking hooked, and you're like, yep, I'm in. So, three more map points, though, still for phase. Keep that in the back of the mind. It's a very very torturously long journey that they still need to overcome three more map points oh boy i wish those starting to see this breaking bad's tough breaking bad's an amazing show but the first season's ass all of it they fucked up the first season but whatever if you could power through the first season of breaking bad you'll love the show i think i think but i i totally if people say breaking bad is terrible i am totally with you because that first season is garbage. Absolutely garbage. Oh my god. A 43% win rate for Monty at this event. Not an outlier. There Can we see a comeback? Ooh. I don't know. Not a hot start right now. Season 1 and 2 Better Call Saul were boring as fuck. Ah, they weren't that bad. They were a little rough, but they weren't that bad. Oh, what the heck was that? What just blew him up? They were sleeper. Okay. They were a little sleeper, but they weren't that sleeper. <laughs> Wait, what? I'm so confused. And if you was possible, I thought they got blunder, but no, that's up to Nade and one before. That's one, three to go for Nade. I mean, at this point, I back him in with the way he's been playing with Montag in his way. That becomes the biggest factor in all. Oh, almost for a moment, the guard break is strong. Good to the knife. He could get the kill. And Faze have done it again. Two more to go for them. What the hell was that jump out from the Took me so many tries to get into Better Call Saul. Yeah, that's fair. It's weird how Breaking Bad and Better Call Saul are kind of slow. I think Better Call Saul was carried. I'll say it. I think it was carried by Breaking Bad. Hard. Mike at the SAG Awards, Breaking Bad did like a reunion on stage. Really? That's cool. Yeah. Dude, Breaking Bad didn't pop off until it, got, it came on Netflix. Isn't that crazy? Wait, really? Yeah. Breaking Bad hit its stride when Netflix got it and acquired it. Until then, it was like, it was good. It was popular. Like, kind of popular. But it didn't blow up until Netflix acquired it. And then it fucking took off. Oh, shit. 
It was. I'm not saying it didn't do. Guys, I'm not saying it was terrible. I'm just saying it wasn't as big until Netflix acquired it, and then it became like, holy fuck, this is a fan favorite to like across the world. Mm -hmm. That's whenever I watched it. Yeah. Netflix. Oh yeah. I watched it when it came out, and it was terrible. Season one was awful. And then I watched it later once it got acquired by Netflix, and I was like, all right, fine, I'll watch the whole fucking show. And now that I. Was terrible. Oh, the first season? Yeah, it was awful. It was truly, truly awful. But now I watched the first season. I don't think it's awful. I still think it's awful. When we rewatch Break Breaking Bad and we watch the first season, every. I mean, why do you always skip the first season? You always do it, right? <laughs> you always <laughs> skip the first season every time because it's terrible. Well, it's just like the the yeah the worst. It's the it's the, the story building. It's like the character the character building and the story development and stuff. All of that shit is super boring. I don't skip it. I I, I don't like the stuff with um what's his name uh the guy. Uh, the guy they they strapped to the pole. Not, not Tuco. Yeah, the first guy. What was his name? Um, I forgot his name. Yeah, I don't know. Crazy, Crazy eight. eight, yeah, him. Crazy. Emilio, yeah. yeah. I didn't like that like whole thing. It's boring. All that's just boring, like, it's, man. It's okay. Like I, I'll watch it, but like I prefer to skip it and get to the juicy stuff. And that's what I'm saying. Okay, okay. You can't talk. You can't communicate. So it's a really big factor here. But in saying that, off the back of that tactical timeout from W7M, they were able to talk Nick. So they were able to formulate a plan. Now they can all kind of just sit, duo, and think over it during this tag pause and I also think the extended break again you should just watch all of Michael Bay's collection that's more your style wait speaking of Michael Bay isn't there a new Transformer movie that hold on I think there's a new Transformers movie that I never seen Trans oh no I saw it what am I saying I saw it I saw it I saw it it was um it was the one where he turned into like a uh, he turned into like a superhero at the end. Oh, it was the G.I. Joe one. Spoiler. It was the one that they connected G.I. Joe and Transformers. Yeah. Yeah, I didn't like that one. That kind of sucked, I'll be honest. I was a little bummed. I like Transformers. That was pretty... That was not good. I mean, spam some W's in the chat for this crowd, though. They're on their feet. W crowd jumping up and down. Arms waving around. The energy inside of this arena is the best we have ever seen in Rainbow Six. Yeah, and honestly, coming into this grand final, once it was confirmed that we had two Brazilian teams, there were some questions. How was the support going to be? Clearly, there's no hero slash villain storyline that is outlaid. But in that, there is still massive support for W7M. There is still Give every Tom Cruise and Jason Statham movie to Shroud. Funny enough, I don't really like those movies very much tom cruise in like his spy movies like mission impossible they're not that great i'll say it they're kind of overrated they're kind of overrated the only one that was good was with henry cavill that's it reloading his fucking punches you know what i'm saying that was the that one was that one went hard. The other sucked. For those clutch drones onto the mute jammers, for instance. And in terms of individuals, I feel like Souls has maybe gone a little bit unnoticed. A couple of really good entry kills yeah. from him so far in this game. On that finger, not just providing those adrenal surges, but also able to get some really good headshot kills on the entries into safe positions like security, which are not always easy to enter into. He's been big. Arguably, all of these players have had a moment or two or three. Top Gun's good. Fight. Yeah, that's fine. Like I was just talking about Mission Impossible, mainly. Did you love Edge of Tomorrow? Yeah, it was good. Edge of Tomorrow was good. I didn't love it, but it was good. Why do they all have zero kills? They had to reset, I think, something. They did, every time they do a tech pause and something happens, they usually have to reset. Which is kind of annoying from like an observing perspective to know what was happening in the game, but it is what it is. I'd love to watch... I'd love to make Shroud watch a racer head or something and just see how it goes. What is a racer head? That sounds like a Chris 
Chris Evans movie or something. Oh wait, 1977. <laughs> Never mind. Yeah, I ain't watching a movie from 1977. You're fucking crazy. You're crazy. You will never catch me and watch a movie from 1977. Ever. Except for Star Wars. Fine. Okay, fine. I'll allow Star Wars. That's it. Oh my god. Oh my god. What a way to get the dub. Holy shit. Holy shit. Aliens? Oh, was that from the 70s? Alright. No more movies. It's time to watch reinforcements. Yep. Watch watch the walls go up. Oh, this is cafe. Cafeteria. Yep. Mm -hmm. Yep. I know that. And now I'm lost. That guy lost me. Single player dreams of qualifying for the six invitationals. Much fewer will make it to the grand finals. Almost nobody will get to play on a stage like this with the crowd that we have going all the way to map five with no one being the clear favor of who's gonna take it. Even fewer win it. And even fewer win it. And none of these guys have before. What a moment it will be, whoever the victor ends up being. Fingers crossed, it's a close fifth and final map. All right, let's get on the way. Opening round, W7M like, on the attack to begin. Like a ranked the setup. I'm not even going to lie. I've seen this setup many times. Right? Like the the top four. This is a new map. Much more to do. No, this is like a season or two old. Good pace here. Of course, two bro band for W7M means that they cannot stall out here on the defensive side of Fade. probably thinks Twilight's a good movie. Twilight goes hard. I want you guys to watch Twilight back. That is the funniest movie you'll ever see. I swear to God. Watch that movie back now in 2024. It's fucking hilarious. It's so good. It's so good. Oh, fuck. Oh, my God. It's so funny. Like, how can it be that? Like, I don't know how... All good. Doesn't matter. We're oh, not talking about movies. You guys watch the new True Detective? I've heard bad things. I've heard really good things. That's like a horror True Detective. Yeah, I've heard not good things. Oh. Yeah, we, if it's, it's just the second we heard it's horror, we were no, or I was not yeah. interested. Yeah. We me, thought about it, and they're like, nope. Yeah, me and Hannah don't like horror. I love horror, so man. Ooh. Down him? He did. What room is this guy in? Where, where is he right now? The room that he was fighting from. This is the... This is the I mean, I don't remember the name, but it's just the hard breach wall that goes outside. Uh, I think I think people call that killbox kill or something. Killbox. Okay. W7M with a focus down below. Oh, IT. Oh. Do we call it IT? That's what it's called on the map. Oh, it's called IT in the map. Yeah. So phenomenal work there from Phase. W7M off to a slow start on attack. Usually for W7M, we see them excel map, <laughs> but of course they know Frost they traps well. work, baby! We don't know how much they've played Night Heaven Lap in scrims, not practice off the camera, but in tier 1 play... God, this game... Time, so I wish it was a little bit bigger. They are forced in this map in the decider. <laughs> what do you mean? Like, all the... the all the... Yeah. Everything you fight in is so tight. So, you're like in a it's hallway simulator. I wish it was a little bit bigger, a little bit more to move. And I know at this point in the grand final, statistics probably don't mean a whole lot, but when it does come to this map of Nighthaven Labs, look how tight this is. Look how tight all of this is. There's some maps that uh, aren't like this. They have longer ranges of sight. But yeah, I mean, I'd say that it does feel kind of cramped a lot of the time. I'm pretty sure you just said this game is gonna go to overtime, right? Those might be the words that were uttered, but in a different phrase. 
One nothing to phase. W7M, now the onus is on you to respond. We go to basement. Reloading. Take an assembly here for the second round. Yep, so those mid jammers being up handy to stop the wall advancement. So Felipox, of course, go on the Thatcher for those EMPs. Let's I think this map's goal. insanely good. It goes straight towards the but a lot of people don't like it. It's why they are accused there. It ain't no lair. But I think lair is one of the worst maps ever put. That's like, you know what lair's like? Lair is like lighthouse. <laughs> just awful. That's one way. You can only go one way. That's it. <laughs> TK! No. Possibly you can't even cook nades anymore. Good. They're choking on map five? This is not a good start. No, 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 no. And it was hurt. Come on, guys. It's in the wrong player. Man. Can he make up for it though? Nade, he does. He wasn't the one that got that team cage, but he's able to make up for KZ's mistake. Just over 90 seconds left, and at least it's now even again. I didn't even know. But Dude, do you have Glacier, by the way? But Cobra? slowly making their way Me? through the map. And yeah. Of which yeah. Have You've been playing since year one? That can be cleared. Uh, there's a player that. in long test. Yeah, Cyber. Oh. He's warden, but angle. I got it for he's super there, cheap when the marketplace first came out. He might know something's oh. up. I mean, surely he hasn't been thrown, right? No. I started it in year two. Oh, so you've been playing it anyways. Yeah. How do we know what year we started? Uh, operation. You can check the R6 tracker, or you can just remember. Both. Does it say what I've been playing? <laughs> yeah, you started the season before me, I think. Or two seasons before me. I started in Grim Sky. I don't know what year that was. Bring it to a 3v3. Like year four. Sold year kill. year moment, three, season four. Again, That's when I started. Hannah, what, what's your name on? Um, I don't know. I have so many accounts. I have Binan Z, Binan Zu, Your main account? I all three players Me? You did? Certainly on site no, now, uh, not white. one up above. Oh. White no noise, which was two really seasons before Grim Sky. Three seasons, so that would be year two, season four. It's so Maybe? urgent now for W7M. Right. Handy. At this point, phase they can start to Captain swing Blood if they want. Wait, I'll pull up your year two, season two. It's a year two, season four. Year two, season four is when you started. Right? This map is so confusing. I don't know what I'm looking at. I gotta pee. I mean, forget the gas canisters, the gas babes in the pocket. Just pull out your gun, win your ones. What a way to lock it out from phase. Wait, what's your account name, Hannah? Right? You I don't know. Like, some of my accounts say I, the like, and they have Operation Health, which I remember that, but I started before that. Seconds. I was you plat in that season. So I'm trying to figure out times. It gives so much intel that there's which a player there. You know it's just one because you I have can three. the punches. It's every single one. One, two, three. All oh, the way I, I don't think it goes it's so like predictable. further back. It's readable. I think all the uh, down when they started tracking. Oh, oh I see. Um, no. <laughs> yeah. Okay. I started way before then. Wait, I'm on the wrong account. <laughs> And that information, I think, really did aid W7M temporarily, oh, no. but unfortunately, with time yeah, bleeding, so they couldn't capitalize on it. I have three accounts. Binance, Binance with a U final, at the end, and then Binance Z. Yeah. So far, I think Binance U is my name. We know at some point W7M will make a comeback. We know that they will be able to have a bit of momentum themselves, so it's very important. But Vayne, I guess, yeah, just remember, this I league, remember playing it's going to allow W7M to get back into this early on. Two nothing start. More importantly, no tactical timeout has been taken. We've seen that quite a lot you in the final. Too. Two rounds, three rounds in, where a lot of these tactical timeouts have been taken early by the team Here losing go, early. No, you're right. And the thing for me is that, and this is like easier to say. What does right? W7M stand for? I haven't seen the key players of WM to like fire up right now. KC one and two, Hurt zero two. These are your typical entry players on the attacking side. If they're not getting anything done, that usually is the reason why. <laughs> Win seven majors. <laughs> <laughs> so we'll see if W7M and KZ specifically win is able to get machine. value from that execute operator. Win seven machine? Yeah. What the hell? 
Ah, that's a lot of recoil. That's a lot of recoil. Who put that recoil there? That's crazy. Titties this out. crowd has been <laughs> this grand final has matched it. Left foot more insertion. Yeah. Five seconds remaining. That's all I can say is yeah. <laughs> it's no, it's phenomenal. It's uh attackers are moving. Everyone in the Rainbow Six Siege right now is living the dream. This is what we want for the game. The game that we love. I mean, with many years we've been going. We are watching history be created before our very eyes. Yeah. That's the beauty of it. This is the kind of series that will be watched back time and time again. Well, into round four then. Let's see if W7M can double down. Or can phase play spoils. Top floor we go. Maverick in play for Hardbridge. The thing is, W7M, they've been out the Monty. And so far, just Vidicate is playing it, but it means neither side on attack can bring it out if they want that comfortability. But of course, still playing is not what you want right now. It's hard breach. Maverick <laughs> being played in case of a bandit trick. It's going to guarantee this will be opened up, but it is not the quickest gadget. It'll take some time. Impact was out. Does it bit Rude. JV, I think he's missed a spot. Ooh. And that could be difficult to figure out here because the feet holes, they're there. For Leapox to play cover. JV92, can he open up Isn't the there um, no so recoil on console? From the map. IT opened up, breach available no. now. Dude, the every time I watch console, yeah, I'm... Yeah, I'm surprised. Is it a lot lower? It's gotta be, because every time I watch, I'm surprised when they shoot their guns. It doesn't kick that high. KZ's come to the table. Yeah, they have, like, way less Now it's up to herds to start to make So basically none. <laughs> yeah. Uh, it it has, has to be that way, though. Obviously it's just a worse input. Yeah, hey, all they could do was just pull down on their thumb. That's it. They can't do anything else. There's no yeah. micromanagement there. You remember Thunder Money, Mike? No. You don't, you don't remember Thunder Money. Oh, yeah, the person. I thought it was an op. Stream sniper. No, yeah. yeah. He's like a big... He's a big R6 player. I've actually played him in R6 a couple of times. The stream sniper? in your chat right now. No, I don't think so. I don't think he's... That, that's his shtick anymore. Okay, I know what I started playing. I started playing um, Operation Skull Rain for Which a year one. What? 
Yeah. Year one? Season three. My, Jesus. My receipt on Steam or you play was, uh... Not the case that time around. Wait, you went well, you pulled up the you receipts? That, you pulled yeah. up the receipts to find yeah. out when you started playing? That's the only way. It was August 2016 is when I first started playing. I played the launch yeah. of this game, but barely. Probably like 10, 20 hours max. I remember playing with... I think I played with Jeremy, actually. Yeah, we can talk about how it's like 50-50 in these rounds and you can win attacks with defenses, but when you want that hammer, it's been your story for a whole year and these rounds are so, so close. One gunfight could change the outcome. It's the most frustrating feeling in the world. I mean, you, you win two majors. The expectation is to then follow up. What the hell was that? that the just made? from Six Invitational. You see that? But right now, Bays are no. far no. closer than Didn't W7M. See that, being able to wield that hammer standing hot beer behind them on the main what's up chad three one lead for phase two rounds to go in the first <laughs> half of this fifth and final map it's a grandstand finish but right now phase is leading the race so is this i mean i guess everything's defense sided but i'm gonna say is this like heavy heavy defense or is this phase or w7m choking I mean, I would say, in general, uh, CJ is pretty defender-sided, but some maps are tiger-sided. I don't know too much about this map, so I'd probably say it's like a toss-up. This map is so confusing, man. I think the defenders have like a 68% win rate. A 68% win rate on this map or overall? Overall, oh. defenders just 60% win rate. Which is, that's pretty balanced, honestly. I don't know how, like, defenders just have it much easier than attackers do in this game. Oh. Oh! Free fire. One tappy. Oh, yo. I don't know about playoffs. He almost TK'd. He almost just killed. He team. literally almost TK'd. <laughs> what is going on right now? I don't know. I think W7, W7M is choking the nerves. Damn. He had a long time to shoot that C4. Stop. Yep, he whipped everything. It's all good. It might change when they get to defense. I don't know, dude. I think it's Joe over. Joey is over. Round. They need a second round. What is it, 4 1? They need another round. Otherwise, it's over. Joey said, bend over. Joseph Biden over. Look at all those cosplays. <laughs> you guys all want to do a cosplay? Team cosplay? You? Yeah. All of us. There is only one issue here. We could be our favorite operators. Okay. Together. I would, I would be Ayana. Ayana, you should be Ayana. Which skin? Her elite skin. <laughs> the one with the thing over her eyes? Or the new one? The other one? The. I don't know, remember. White hair, black so, dress. Black yeah. dress. Yeah. And take it one round Cute. at a time. So would you be Mike? Blitz? Yeah. Blitz are like, uh, I don't know. The hell? So it's almost paramount. I love the game auto pick for me. Auto pick. You should be recruited. Doc. Yeah, Doc's a good one. Sledge Halo Elite, the Master Chief Elite. Jeez. If, if Mike splits and Justin's Yana, I should pick another attacker. I'll be Habana. Habana's like Hannah. Wait. Mike, you would have to be. Nah, you'd have to go. Is Blitz Canadian? Oh, you thinking Buck? He's German. Buck or Zofia? He's German. Yeah, he is German. Yeah, you have to be Buck. Well, 
I think there's a couple of Canadians. Sophia's Polish, I think. Oh. Really Polish operators are Sophia and Ella. Mm. Yeah, that's right. Yeah. What about Canadian? Is it just Buck? It might just be Buck. Oh, Frost. No, I think Frost. Yeah. yeah. Frost. The cold ones. Mm. Makes sense. God, Canada fucking sucks. I'll say it. That shit's ass. Fuck that place. That's your homeland, though. I know. I don't care about homelands. They said. I feel like it's kind of weird to care about where you're. Like, who cares where you're from? Just pride. Yeah, but like, what does it matter? It's just you RNG'd it. You like it's like you just clicked RNG the RNG button on character creation. Like who gives a fuck? Well, say that to the Brazilian crowd right now. They give a lot of fucks. A lot of people care. They just ain't woke like me. They just ain't woke. They just ain't woke. You are kind of zooming. Which is weird because you're old as shit. <laughs> but you're, you're like Zoomer old. It's weird. Super old. You just don't like agreeing with me on anything. I've I found. That's fine. No, though. like I no. You see, okay, that's an issue because it has nothing to do with agreeing with you. It's just I gotta call you out on your bullshit sometimes. That's what good friends do. No. Yeah. Fair. Pivotal, so vital. The oh, it's GG. Seven one Brazil. Seven one. Did you just say seven one Brazil? Yeah, Brazil versus <laughs> yeah. Brazil. Yeah. But there's no <laughs> L here. It's gonna be a dub either way. <laughs> yeah. Who, what is Ace? Ace Origin R six. You guys know off the top of your heads? Norwegian. No. I would have never guessed that. To play here today, you might be two rounds away from this being over and you being the loser. And we you being the loser. The biggest, most important thing to take away from oh. this is to live in the moment and absorb this experience. So where's uh, where's yeah. Bolo, dude? When does he play? We may never <laughs> see anything like this again. <laughs> 10,000 strong. I'm pretty sure it's still a command in chat. Brazil, during all the Brazilian oh, it probably is. So rare. The Bays have looked so dominant on Nighthaven Labs. They've clearly been the better side thus far. Ow, audio. Yeah, Dude, that say, angle was so good, by the way. There's been some individual rounds here. Wait, what? what I was that? gonna say, that's some good recoil control. Handy, was that the MP7? Are you talking about the MP7? Yeah, he was just holding her. Yeah. Dude, I'm excited for the new season and using irons. Do we see another comeback on defense? Uh, I might, I mean, yeah, I might practice. I might practice irons. Some irons are going to be extremely good. Yeah, P7 irons. Like there, there will be very good irons in that. It will be meta, I guarantee it. But for most guns, probably not. Like you're not going to run buck irons more than likely. Two more rounds, and arguably you win this round. Oh, it becomes so difficult for W7M. It does. It's like that. Basically, the final on the coffin at that point. One mistake and it's over. Base opens up the first wall. Nate is there with the counter. And the trick successful on this thermal charge. Uh, the thermal charge rather. Selma was out though. A small hole in the wall, but no real good entry point. No vertical play from Phase. I mean, typically you see a player down below pressure in that position, making it difficult for the bandit. Not that time around. So it is a win in the column for the defenses. W7M, I mean, trying to mount an insurmountable comeback. Certainly yeah. doable, certainly doable. And if they can just start to get a couple of rounds, we've already seen in this grand final those comebacks like you mentioned, Pengu. So 90 seconds left, five versus five. These Are we playing after this or am I Jover? <laughs> Let's play a few rounds, of course, give me. So rounds. <laughs> just one game, just a couple of rounds, and we leave. <laughs> Oh, it's over. It is so Joey over. Oh, Joey. 
That's it. They know. I saw it on their face. They know they've lost. They know it. Hello? Ace? Guy no clue. <laughs> so his, cool. his, 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 teammate, his teammate shot him in the back too. Probably no combo. All good. Good. Brazil wins no matter what. Yep. At the end of the day, BR wins, NA loses. Weird. We always lose. And yet, we're still number one. That's weird how that works. How can a loser win so much? That should be a documentary. America. The number one loser. So good at losing. Surely, now, at this moment, with five opportunities, FaZe will finally taste the ultimate glory that they've been so close to. Back-to-back -back major wins for W7M, but it was back-to-back semi-final losses for FaZe. Forever in that shadow, but now looking to step out I'm not even kidding, I swear most of those guys have had W7M jerseys at the start. Buy them both. The, yeah, and now they're, they're swapping the FaZe, it's crazy. They're just rooting for the winners. Can they break free? Basement, we go. I don't know. I mean, it's going to be an insane. Do they blow a bunch of confetti up when people win in this game? I'm sure they have a celebratory thing. Yeah, confetti raining from the sky. Is it a crazy phase plan still a thing? Barely. That's what I'm saying. <laughs> crazy. I don't know where they're getting all their money from to pay the teams they have. <laughs> I don't know. Like, their CS team is probably a fuck ton of money. I know how difficult this is for W7M. And they cannot go into their shells no. despite the circumstances that they find themselves in these kind of angles is what could get them back into this game aggressive holding key position you fall back to sight because you're fearful of what could happen you will then lose oh birds waking up on the drones clean drone shooting he's one in seven despair grand final points Hold up. Hold up. Dare I say a comeback is happening? When you buy an esports team? Great question. Why'd he stand up? Hello? Imagine your face. Every single blink, you see the hammer behind your eyes. You see the moment that you'll lift that trophy. You had the three v two. Now it's slowly crumbling away, but it's a tie two v two with the health bars even. Would you let your viewers invest in it? Yeah, for sure. Let's let's start a crowdfunding project to buy EG. Thoughts? Information for Handy. Could you imagine? Thirty seconds left. Is this phase? A joint operation with all of chat. Owning an org, buying an org. Ridiculous. Is esports even profitable? Not until we do pay pay per view or whatever. We need to start paying per views ASAP. They're back in the game, baby. They're back in the game. Honestly, though. They just need to dial back on, like, esports being big. Like, it doesn't need to be in front of crowds and stuff. Like, they could just dial all that back. And, like, people just like watching esports matches. Like, you don't need to do a whole production for it. 
that you could just do something casual and it'll it'll get it'll have the same impact as if you're in front of 20,000 people in a stadium, you know? So as soon as esports dials back on all of that, that's when it'll become profitable. Because we can't do pay-per-view. Nobody's going to fucking pay. Are you kidding me? We're all broke, right? Well, not not me. You guys. So just dial it all back. Weird flex. <laughs> How the people watch you, Mike? <laughs> they like just it. Just insult they your viewers constantly. They like when I talk dirty to them. I swear to God, they like it. See? Look at them. They love it. You ain't got no money, you broke bitches. <laughs> Honestly, though, I just think I just go about it in a like. Uh, the real answer is I just go about making fun of my chat in a way that's like obviously not serious. Like I'm just dicking around. Like I'm not actually just like talking down on these people like they're worth nothing. Like I'm obviously making a joke. And I think that's the difference, right? <laughs> <laughs> what? What? Just capping, capping. I mean, it's obvious. That is the obvious answer. And that's now a position that the defense must watch. They must keep a keen eye on that entry. No, I, I mean, I understand. In a powerful really. position to cut I just think it's funny. Objective. Entry should be strong. And I agree, and honestly. Fuck these Candelas people. In the hands of souls. <laughs> Something to keep an eye on as we continue yeah. forward by the end of this round. There's no warden in play. <laughs> so that Yang is extremely powerful. If Baze lose souls, suddenly W7M look in a much better position. The lead box down below, and we have a lurk. A potential 1v1. Not <laughs> cool, Justin. Only Shroud can. Oh! Looking to dislodge that mirror window position. What happened to the, the flash? Did it get zapped? He's been the clutch master. Uh, I don't know. I didn't see what happened. He's the one to step up. Still a nitro shell available for Nade. We know how good he's been in the clutch in this grand final. Candela thrown. One more available in the back. Ah, my eyes. 40 seconds remaining in the round. Handy. Close. Tries to bank off of that wall. The flash. Souls will fall. No more Candela's. Nice to dump from her. Dude, we might have a comeback. But it is phase. Hold up. Hold up. Hold up. Huh. Oh. oh my. What the? They oh, got a little. Oh, that's an overheat. Yeah, that they were. Over, they overheated time. so hard right there. They were working way too fast. He's one HP. There's 25 seconds left, and he has a head only angle. That was overheat. But we get longer matches. When the moment needs it the most, they both show up to shut down Cyber on the entry garage. Are they going to fake a comeback? What do you think? Yeah, it's over. It's over? This is the, the end? Right down to the wire. You think about top four. There's not many safe places to sit, especially with that Azami ban. And that's why we saw such aggressive trading from both teams. Is that the spark now for W7M? Is that belief now coming back a little bit? It's a I'll fake what, comeback, man. It happens all the time. Faze might just start to feel Jesus. like they could be slipping away to start to feel like can they actually control this momentum that W7M has developed as the game has gone on, despite being 6-1 down. Now to 6-3. You see there the player can W7M. Like this, the sigh of relief, their bodies, their lungs filled with air going, oh, we're still in it. One more round to go, and then Damn. again, 
and again and this third and then you're in overtime. I think that's a 4K from Aries too. He was one and eight. Now he's five and eight. Did you see that next invite's gonna be in the U.S.? I didn't. That's awesome. What's in the U.S.? Sorry. Go U.S. The, the invitational next year will be in the U.S. Let's go U.S.A. U.S.A. Did they say what? Uh, state city. No, I mean, it'll be in the east coast, so most likely Raleigh again. That's fucking boring, dude. Um, yeah, who wants to go to Raleigh? Well, the east coast is trash. Get the fuck off the airwaves. I've been to Raleigh. Actually, wasn't that bad. It was quite nice. And the issue is, you don't have a good attack at half, so we did not. You don't have that parish in terms of round count. You need to be, as we keep saying, flawless on its base. They've been playing the same style so far in attack. They played five versus five. We want to get the bombs that execute out clean. We want to get the vertical play. They have to ram in the bug. They don't want to just throw bodies at the problem. They want to problem solve every step of the way. Yep. Classic from Cyber. Pretty early map control can get to work with the skeleton key. You think about those and the boogie auto breaches from the ram. That's going to expose a lot of the site. And then it's up to W7M. What did they do in response to Is this the down? most watched sports? A sports tournament? What? Esports tournament history? No. It's close, though. Not even close. Oh. Isn't it like Dota or something? I think it's. I thought it was CS. But... Pretty sure it's League, right? I, I don't know. I think oh, yeah, that would make sense. Yeah, I think it's LCS. LCS. Let's just find out. Most with one and only Nitrosol that they had in the back pocket, it gets rid of uh, League. Now the push from Cyber. Oh! Jesus, peak viewership of 6.4 million. League of Legends? Yeah. Yeah. Crazy, dude. League goes hard. Yeah, CS was only at 2.75 million. That's insane. They got two. Two very important candelas, but there's a warden on the board in Nade. He is very pivotal for W7M. All they need to do is hold angles on sites. Couple of shots over the wall. Oh, what the hell? At this point now, W7M. Kind of nasty. 20 seconds. Time. Arguably on the side of W7M. Candela thrown. Entry has been made. But the leap box gets off the flank. Souls though. Now tries to respond. Can't find the headshot. Doesn't even get the down. The leap box stays alive. At least enough to deny in terms of time. Which is running out for Souls. He has to stick the flank. We know we cannot. We know we cannot. History might go against them if they cannot turn this around. You have to start saying the term thought armor that we gotta go to overtime. The thing is, how much more can the hearts of W7 take? Their players, their fans, they're keeping us in so much tension right now. They've been facing Maps Point from behind for three rounds now, going flawless. And what they've been doing is that a single player. Different one every single time. They've been finding these small windows of opportunity, taking full advantage and finding a multi kill <laughs> to stop FaZe from advancing on their plan. I kind of hope the game doesn't go to OT, Jacob. You might, you might pass out. I might pass out at this point. Oh my word. I but mean. I want to see this go the distance. It deserves to go the distance. Yeah. 6 4. 6 4. W7M are doing it. And that belief now oh, is certainly no. back, not just for the team, but the crowd as well, as they continue to support them. They're out of Ben Q's? Look like Ben Q's to me. They got the handle, for sure. That's Ben Q, 100p. Mm -hmm. Only Ben Q's got those handles. The dream, you realize... Not, you know, wake up to reality here. You haven't won just yet. You still gotta get this final round done. It's one thing. To win a six invitational grand final from this Bro? 
it was one HP. HP. One HP. One HP. But that might define the outcome of the round. Cyber, the injury's down. Very I mean, is down as that well. is crazy. If he doesn't headshot him, he dies. They have a plan. It needs five players. They do not have five players in this round. I tell you what, the script writer for this Damn. match is a very sick individual. I mean, we should just be going OT at this point. Oh, give him the trophy. That's all I say. He deserves it. Yeah. I think they lose this 4v5. Nah, no way. They lost their buck, which is a pretty big loss. I feel like someone's gonna overheat. Yeah, something's gonna happen, dude. Something's gonna happen. I mean, honestly... I need to learn this map. This is Warehouse on the west side. No, south side. DC stairs. What the fuck is this? Oh. If these roamers kill one, I think oh. they would not. Alright, GG. Yeah, it's over. Oh, hold on. Hold on. Oh my God. Hello. We didn't see any of it, really. Nope, none of it. Oh, <gasps> baby. Uh -oh. Make it a triple? Where were these kills? Why are they all roaming still in a 3v5? <laughs> They're all roaming in a 3v5. Try to formulate one hell of a response in this round. I could not imagine the adrenaline coursing through the veins of these players. What a performance they've given us. Stand as one. The Wait, these guys aren't breathing when they're holding angles. Tremendous grand final, but only Attack one winner. Located a bomb. 50 seconds left. Nade and Valipox. Shoulder to shoulder, they move on the defense to hold these key positions as FaZe look to open up the floorboard for one final time, potentially. There's a bit of a mix-up there for WCDM. Half wanted to stick around for the roam. The other half wanted to run down. They split up in the this middle, and they pay. This they suffer. Now they're down a man, but they still got it. 30 seconds, and bombs out of their disposal. They can still win this round. Surely it doesn't still come down time. to the brothers. Naid yeah. and Handy. 20 seconds. Oh! Oh! Seconds in the drop from Souls, playing behind Handy, who still needs to get the kid onto the floor. And Souls will find the way. Handy, the one versus two, deep into red time. Oh my god. Oh my god. Nice. This the script. End up bringing Dude, the back. script is real right now. It's crazy. They're not shooting on purpose, I think. I swear. Aren't they just going to swap now? And FaZe is going to be on defense? Or am I crazy? No? Okay. Oh, okay. You can't not. We gotta see right, let's look back at that round then. Felipox and Nade. Back to back insane shots. Left handy on an island. Five seconds. No time. And who else but Nade to win that one out? The crowd. The loudest it has ever been. I didn't know they could get any louder. But they have. Guys. It has been an absolute privilege. We are oh so fortunate for this bloody game. A grandstand finish for the grandest of all finals. This might be, is this the most viewers this Siege has had for an event? I don't, th I don't think so. You don't think so? Okay. Final Depends on... If we're counting like everything, like, yeah. I'm counting everything. I'm counting like Jinxie, Jinxie. Oh, yeah. yeah, like I, all I, the I, watch yeah, parties, sure, everything. Yeah, you can't you, you can't use the main cast as an example because everyone's gonna want to watch the main streamer instead of the main cast for the most 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 of the time anyway. I think before it was only like 
280,000 or something because they didn't even allow co-streams so they just did the main channel you know what's that right now it's like 400 something right 400 something yeah that's what the section's at i don't know what the actual number for it all is that's watching it i mean siege is at 96k so just at rainbow six channel and jinx is at 179. yeah the whole section is at 432. I think it's genius. Pretty good. You play the mental game as operators. You know, phase, they're on attack. They're gonna go swift. They're gonna try like a cyber. Be aggressive, right? If you don't see a Capcom trap, if you don't drone it out, you might just die to a gadget entering it all way. So then, handy. 11 kills. You've been phenomenal in this map. Exothermic for the main wall, followed up by an EMP. It won't be disrupted oh, by the KZ. defense. KZ lurking. Nitro Cell ready and waiting. The last one they've got, a couple of impacts as well. Drones, five remain. Buffets again, slow is their approach. Typically been so good for them in the past, but right now, this comeback from W7M is so strong. That plot armor is so thick. The fairy tale, last dance. Will it get the conclusion? Probably one of the slowest rounds of phase so far. The pressure didn't get into them, but of course their coach might have said, guys, they will aggress into you. Hold those angles. Expect the swings to come around. They don't have the ying. They don't have any easier to break this apart. Well, Handy's pushed forward. Advanced position. Exothermic. Oh, okay. Okay. Box. Uh. Box. I think he denies it. I think he, I don't know if that gets opened up. Hard to see from this position. So. I think he's That's denied it. Oh my oh. god. Wait, did he get the wall? I know. Oh, yeah, that's bad. That's real bad. Alright, OT it is. <laughs> for the views, for the views, for the views. That's crazy. I'm going to be honest, I think W7M wins it. Clean. But the entry now comes through for FaZe. They have struggled immensely on the attack. Both teams have. How fitting that it comes down to this. I wouldn't they put like the captain trap like for the trick, the two and then maybe like one separate or something? Herds has been quiet here on the fifth half uh, of this series. But that's a key uh, play I mean, I, with that utility. I bet it would probably be better inside even. Well, They're just going to drone all that out. I also feel like captain fucking... With this type of game, I feel like he sucks. Yeah. 
when the attack Cause like they just dro like three he had three on that door right? Yeah. Yeah they just like shot it yeah. insta like Yeah like, they drone this shit so heavily that there's just no way those three are ever gonna kill someone insta yeah. Really? But it doesn't matter. Elsewhere still the advantage of W7M. KZ oh. loses the close contact that swing. And suddenly a three versus Oh no, the crowd went so silent. <laughs> phase of struggle on the attack. But could they finally break through and break the heart to W7M to begin overtime? W7M needs to be careful. FaZe could isolate them in these positions. I mean, look at Nade. He's stuck prone. If he's hunted down by FaZe, it will flip the round in their favor. Keep in mind, Solace also in play. Footholds to deal with. They've not mine shot out. Flashbang. Force them to be full white. Handy for the cross. It's successful. Bruh. Behind the desk. And that's a nice kill. Handy up by himself. The one versus two. Shot from Handy. Through that was so blind. That's the one versus one. Behind the bomb chassis. Handy's got himself oh. the diffuser. The pistol's out. Oh. Oh my god. Bro, did he hit him too? In the face? Because I think he did. <laughs> he really. Intense. He had time to reload, but it was heat of the moment. I mean, I think he hit him in the head. It didn't matter, though. Crowd buff, bro. Crowd buff. From six one down, W7M are on the verge of not just creating history. Dude, if they win, the crowd might run up on stage. <laughs> they just might. I don't know. <laughs> they just might. <laughs> they might sprint up there. W7M looking like the team to beat for a full year. And then all of a sudden, VP humbles them a bit in the lower bracket. Phase makes it look easy in some of these maps in the best of five, but it comes Someone's down to gonna the, the hammer. Clutch, <laughs> the <most laughs> steal it. Certain kind of uh. man that wakes up in the server and says, you know what? Not today. He's going for a spawn. Oh, okay. 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 You're trailing. You are six, this seven down in the SI grand final. You're going for a run out. Won't find mm. much. But just something oh. to note. I love that. Honestly, yeah. I love that. They will not back down. I mean, I gotta respect the effort. I wouldn't have the balls do that myself. That's a damn shot. Sit in that bombs and say, guys, when they come, I'm ready. But I'm not roaming. I'm not seeking those bomb peaks. The attackers, those of them, they got utility. Capital, the fire and the smoke. This will just keep swapping, right? Sides, every round. Unless W7 wins. wins here, right? Yeah. It's a big roaming presence. Win by if two. They have good intel, they could, of course, go for a side rush, but it's a bit risk. It's a big stack, a breach. We may not see W7M contest up above. They're going direct. It could well be. Nade has that diffuser in hand. Capital close by. Nade has gotten a drone deep in towards site. Maybe they'll make the call to hit it early. Is this the moment? Nade with the entry. Now looking to open up the castle barricade. Still a lot of time. Mind you on the clock. You can see it on the top of your screen. Ooh. KZ will go down and will stay down. Cyber. A very important kill for FaZe and gives them a momentary advantage. It's a very important kill. It's Dude, not clearing him is going to be such a problem. If Solo stays alive, they can't the run can close that net. This kill should mean to them they cannot proceed with the current plan. Uh. Ah. Oh. Good rotate cut off. 14 and 9 and clearing the ever present staff of FaZe in this grand final. Nade on the other side. Ah. Ah. What the? And it's the smokes that are stalling out this push. So W7M have to wait for their moment. It's all direct. Oh. No way. No way. No way. It's Jover. Oh my. 
What a comeback, bro. What a comeback. Crazy. Damn phases. Bum. That's crazy. They just lost seven rounds in a row to lose in Invitational. His glasses just fell off. All good. Who needs them? Five more. <laughs>